Hey everybody, welcome back to another Case Break. Today we are going back one year and looking for all the good rookie cards from two of my favorite releases from 2019. We've got jumbo boxes, one jumbo case worth of 2019 Tops Update with three hits per box, and I really love 2019 Tops Archives. I'm a big fan of that. All the good rookie cards in these sets, hopefully we will find today. I, I know we'll find them. We're looking for guys like um, Fernando Tatis Jr. and Aloy Jimenez, Pete Alonso, and the like. So hopefully everyone's doing great. Hopefully you've all been staying safe. Uh, unlike, unfortunately, the Marlins having a tough time right now. If you've seen the bad news about their team, they're all um, you know, being affected by the terrible virus going around. Hopefully... Uh, they can get this thing under control. Other bad news today, Justin Verlander looks like he might be out for the season after just one start. But we'll probably talk a little bit about that throughout the break. But let's get started. How about we start off with 2019 Tops Update the Jumbos. I know a lot of people love these. We are doing these by the packs. We have a grand total of 60 packs Let's see what we can find. Our first pack is going to be for Camille. Let's get started. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Yeah, Kyle Lewis having a nice start to his season. He was uh, probably about the seventh best rookie in the class, and now he's, uh, he's taken off. People are taking notice of Lewis. So we have some bonus things right here. We have an oversized box topper, and we have some silver packs. We will determine who gets these in a minute. It'll be amongst the folks in this pack. There's Camille. Camille with a $10 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Camille. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Camille's channel. And speaking of Camille, she's up right now. She has the very first pack. She also has the second pack in this box. Michael's got the third pack. We have Michael getting the fourth pack and the fifth pack. We're going to divide up these special ones right now. Jeffrey's got the sixth. Parker and Peyton have the seventh. Steve's got the eighth. The ninth goes to Daniel, and Daniel also has the tenth. So let's give away some of this stuff right now. Uh, these We're just going to assign these to a specific person before we get into this. Not box with a $50 Super Chat says, Hey, Jabs, I just got two cases of Clearly Authentic. Also, a hobby box of Series 2 and Go Box, not box. Thank you very much. That's a great case. I love Clearly Authentic. Are you going to open it on your channel? I think you should. Make sure you guys get over to Not Box and check their channel out. And how about the Pirates with their first win of the season today, finally? I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Not Box. So here's what we're going to do with this first pack. This is for Camille. I'm going to look on the back of these cards. The first card up will give away the silver pack. Second card, the silver pack. And the last, our third card will be this one. It's going to go like if it's card number 311, then Camille would get it. If it was card like 518, then Steve would get it. We'd go by the last number. If it was card 10, then Daniel would get it or 30 or whatever. So that's the way we'll do it. First silver pack, so I want to... Uh, get these taken care of and assigned. So Camille will have a Kevin Biggio, and the first silver pack is going to go to Michael Ewings since he has number five, and that ends in 295. Craig Kimbrell's the second card, ends in 69. Second silver pack is going to go to Daniel. That's just the fairest way to do this. And then the, the last one, the box topper, is going to go to zero. That also goes to Daniel in spot number 10. So that is taken care of. Now let's get back to the, the issue at hand, which is Camille's pack. All right, so it's just easier than firing up a, uh, you know, a, a randomizer and getting my computer on the screen. Hey, a Pete Alonzo rookie card. Very nice. If you're wondering what the buy-in for this break was, it was $25 per pack. These boxes cost about $250 or more on eBay after you factor in shipping. And uh, taxes. There's Clayton Kershaw. Looks like Camille's going to have a hit numbered. It looks like it might be a, oh, is it a commemorative? So you're going to have a commemorative uh, hit right here, Camille, which is better than nothing. It is a Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza 150th medallion. Should be numbered out of 50. 35 of 50. Very nice right there. AJ Pollock Cameron says you should get a face cam. I think people would rather see the cards. How about a Tatis Jr. rookie debut? Very nice. 
Pretty good pack so far. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Home run derby rookie. I love Topps Update. I wish I could still find this on the shelves at Walmart, but unfortunately I can't. Nick Senzel rookie card. It used to be everywhere on the shelves at Walmart and the clearance bins and stuff, but now uh, people have all grabbed it up. And J.P. Crawford. So a pretty good first pack for Camille. Thank you, Camille, very much. Moving on to pack number two. That also is for Camille. We'll just grab the next pack out of the box. That was a pretty darn good pack, Hanson. I do agree with you on that one. All right, the second pack, we got Frankie Montas on the back. Uh, Hanson, I didn't see it. Did you send it to my Yahoo account? Um, typically, I, I get tons of emails every day, so sometimes they get buried. We have Larry Garcia and Tommy Lestella. This pack a little weak so far. There's Harold Ramirez, one of the many Marlins that have come down with the virus as it tears through their team. Marlins are already going to have a rough go as it is, playing all their games against all those Eastern Division teams. Now it's going to be even rougher on them. You got a Will Smith rainbow rookie card. Nick Senzel is a nice one. Nick Senzel, 1980. Four style design. Like that one a lot. There's Pete Alonso, blue rookie card. That one should be numbered out of 150. Maybe not. I guess it's not numbered. I was hoping it would be out of 150, but we'll get it in the sleeved up nonetheless. Another Pete Alonso. So I think Camille's got three Pete Alonsos in the span of two packs, which is pretty good. How about another Pete Alonso? Four Pete Alonsos in two packs. It's the Pete Alonso show. So far, Austin Riley rookie card is a nice one. 2000 RBI. Albert Pujols, there's Bregman, Oscar Mercado, Austin Meadows has been cleared to work out. He was another one with the virus, and uh, I love Austin Meadows. Can't wait for him to get back. So pack number two is in the book. Thank you very much, Camille. Pack number three is for YHLLS, a.k.a. Michael. Uh, Ryan, don't get to, or whoever said that about Kyle Lewis, it's only been a couple games. Um... Don't go crazy just yet. Uh, I'll have to check that out, Hanson. I don't often check that account, but I will check it out. There's Michael. He's in pack number three. Let's see what we can find for you. We're looking for gold and parallels of the big rookie cards. That's where the real value is at. There's a very nice Kevin Biggio rookie card. Isaac says that I should start a gaming channel. There's Mike Yastrzemski rookie card. is a nice one. Uh, I'm not that very good at video games. I haven't played them for so long. Um, I used to be very good at NES, regular Nintendo. There's Michael Chavis, gold rookie card. That's what we are looking for. Stuff like that. It is going to be numbered out of 2019. 745. There's Joe Morgan. We have John Means and a Independence Day, Braden Bishop out of 76. Love to find one of the big rookies in that. A variant there's Shohei Otani, who someone just said got it handed to him today. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. By the way, this is the Shohei Otani quote unquote error rookie card. As you know, Shohei Otani's rookie card is 2018, but they decided to slap a rookie card emblem on there anyway. When this first came out, this card was going for like twenty to thirty dollars on eBay because everybody thought it was an error card. But they never corrected the error, so now it's worth a buck or two. Uh, so that's unfortunate for people that spent big bucks on that one. JT Rail Muto, still don't think he has an extension. They're still talking about that. Uh, Charlie Morton, we've got a Blake Parker, and Cattell Marte finishes off box number three for Michael's, or not box, pack number three. Thank you very much. Michael has uh, not a different Michael. Michael E is up next. He's got two packs. Duvall says it was just announced Verlander's injury is not season-ending. He's probably going to miss at least half the season, which, you know, it's like a month. There's shoot, fly, drive, says no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Thank you very much. Good luck, Michael. Hope you guys will check out shoot, fly, drive. Let's see if we can find you the autograph. There's Keston Hero rookie card. I love that one. One of the better rookies you can find. Mitch Keller pitched a good game today for the Buckos. Luis Robert hit his first career home run today. You know what? And um, what's interesting about that is he's going to easily get that ball back. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Awesome card right there. Um, no worries about that falling into a fan who doesn't want to give it back. They can easily retrieve those balls, all those home run balls. 
Uh, there's Heather with Shoot, Fly, Drives link if you'd like to check them out. Hey, there's the autograph. It's Trey Mancini on card auto. 150th anniversary gold stamped out of 150, 97. So Michael E with the autograph hit. That leaves one more hit in here somewhere. It's going to be the relic. We'll see what we can find. So far, that is arguably the biggest hit as we're only in our first box. Mike Trout. We have a James McCann, Chris Paddock rookie card. Eric Swanson and Glaber with the gold cup on there. So pretty good pack right there. You got the auto cast and here a rookie card. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card as well. So Michael also is lucky enough to be assigned the silver pack. We had to divvy those up before we started this box up. We'll do that with every box. Corey Kluber, yeah, uh, Bigfoot. He's got a shoulder issue, so I'm a little worried about Kluber. Uh, he has not obviously been able to stay healthy and looks like uh, possibly it could be another wasted season for him. His shoulders are really tough to overcome if you're a pitcher. So I'm hoping that the Clue bot can get back soon. I love Corey Kluber. He's always He was always friendly to me and my daughter whenever we went to Cleveland. There's Charlie Morton Gold and something sticking to it. It is a Nick Anderson out of 150, a nice Luis Aparicio 1956 style card. That's a cool one. Jake Odorizzi, Mike Moustakis. Uh, let's see. So far, nothing crazy in terms of rookie cards in Michael's pack here. Uh, he had a great pack. Luis Arise is a good one. We'll put him in the sleeve pile. I like him a lot. Shed Long rookie card. And Michael Brantley. Cameron thinks that Kluber's time in the big leagues may almost be over, unfortunately. Hopefully not. You got the silver pack also, Michael. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, Tommy Edmonds rookie is in here as well, Dusk. Kerry Wood. Jeff Bagwell, Kevin Crone, who's got a ton of power, and Mike Trout. Very nice Mike Trout card, and that will do it. Shoot Fly Drive says, thanks, Jabs. Hit the like button, everyone. Already 80 likes. Thanks, guys, for hitting that button for me. And also, Shoot Fly Drive, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, you guys will check him out as we move on to pack number six for Jeffrey. What are my thoughts on the Padres this year? Well, I think I would probably say they have a good shot at making the playoffs, believe it or not, with 16 teams in there. Um, I think they could possibly be a wild card, which it looks like the playoff. There's the Tommy Edmond rookie card you guys were talking about. With this new format for the postseason this year, it looks like there's a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Good pack, Jeffrey. Looks like the top team in each division is going to make it, and the second place team as well. And here comes the relic. It is going to be a game use bat of Carlos Correa. So congrats on that, Jeffrey. Great pack so far. Got a uh, key boom, 84. There's the Carlos Correa, not number bat, but it is a nice one. There's True Seekers. How's it going? There's a Tatis Jr. rookie debut. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie debut. Very nice. There is a possibility teams that are under 500 could make the playoffs this year. Nick Senzel rookie card. So the way I understand it, another Nick Senzel, back-to-back -back Senzel, and it's literally the same card. Uh, that's awesome because that's a great card. like that one a lot. Looks like the first-place team is going to make the playoffs. The second-place team in each division is going to make the playoffs. And then two additional wild-card teams. So... Uh, <laughs> Literally more than half of the teams are going to be making the playoffs. 16 teams out of 30 will make the playoffs. A good possibility that a team with a losing record could be in the playoffs this year. It'll be interesting for sure. Uh, Heather says there's a super chat. Which one did I miss? It's from Epic Baseball Cards 99. It says, yo, Jabs, you inspired me to start YouTube. Road to 100. Epic Baseball Cards 99. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Epic Baseball Cards. Heather's on the computer right now looking you up to drop the link in there as we move on to Parker and Peyton. Parker and Peyton are back. I believe last time we saw them it was in a maybe Gypsy Queen break a little while ago and they pulled an autograph. So Let's see how you guys do this time in your seventh pack of the box. We know all the hits are gone. And uh, there's a nice Keston Hira rookie card. We'll get that sleeved up because Keston Hira is awesome. Uh, Kevin Plawecki. There's Justin Verlander. 
who supposedly may only be out a few weeks. There's Heather with Epic Baseball Cards link if you'd like to check them out. Josh Donaldson Gold will get that sleeved up. And a Glaber 150. The Family Business Roger Clemens Cole Tucker rookie card. You've got a Cincinnati Reds 1869 card. Pretty cool right there. Nicky Lopez rookie card as well. Jake Odorizzi. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Looking for maybe a Pete Alonso or maybe Camille got all the Pete Alonsos out of the box. I feel like Camille got four or five Pete Alonso cards in her two packs. And it looks like you are going to finish up with Shelby Miller. But you got a Luis Arise rookie card in there, a gold card. And my favorite card that you got was Keston Hira. So Parker and Peyton, thank you very much. We move on now to spot number eight. This is for Steve. Let's grab the next pack out of here. Stanton is doing good. Yeah, there's it's it's early, but it's going to be interesting because there's very few games. So if somebody starts out hot, their cards could uh, really go up. Uh, people already talking about Kyle Lewis is a big uh, gainer. John Towner Lucas says, I pulled an Independence Day Josh Bell out of 76 from the set value. I would probably put that card around 10 bucks. believe it or not. Those low-numbered parallels, people try to put those sets together. And uh, by the way, there's a nice Brian Reynolds rookie card, which I'm going to sleeve up for you because Brian Reynolds had a great season last year. Never know if he's going to be the next big thing. There's Keston here, rookie debut. That's a nice one as well. A Dub says, Phil Gosselin has nine career home runs, and two of them were yesterday. And someone says, I missed a super chat. Heather, did I miss a super chat? Heather says uh, she doesn't think so. So I think we got John Towner. Maybe you are just on a delay. Uh, upside down card, Adam Ottavino. This is going to be, is it a short print? Why is this upside down? It's impossible to see that number down there, but it ends in a 10. And everybody else also ends in a 10, so that's kind of strange. Not exactly sure why that one's flipped upside down. It doesn't look like it's a advanced stats card either or anything. There's a George Springer gold. Love that card. 1960 Bob Gibson. By the way, guess what our throwback Thursday is this week, everybody? 1960 Tops is what we're doing this week. Looking for Mickey Mantles and uh, all kinds of Hall of Famers in there. Look out for that one. Carl Yastrzemski rookie card. Uh, Willie McCovey rookie card. It's going to be a fun one. That's a nice one. Bob Gibson, Josh Bell, Jan Gomes, Roll of I'll have all the details about that coming up on Patreon very soon. So, Steve, thank you very much. That is your pack. You are in the books. I haven't figured out how much the uh, buy-in is going to be yet. Daniel, here we go. Spot number nine. There's only two packs left here. It's not a box. I bought um, a set, and we're going to do a set break of it. So the way it's going to, to go is I'm going to probably make up X amount of lots, and I'm probably going to try to divvy up all the Hall of Famers and rookie cards. So you're guaranteed at least one decent card uh, in each lot, and then um, we will do a live randomization to see where exactly you fall. Because obviously I'm going to know where the Mickey Mantle falls if I'm making up the set break lots myself, and uh, it has to be all random. So we will randomize that before we even start. There's Aloy Jimenez. Yeah, a box of that would probably cost like $100,000 if there even is a box around. Um, so I just, uh, I bought, I, I forget exactly what it was. Um, maybe it's like a, a VG set, like very good. So most of the cards are probably going to be like a PSA four. How about a short print of the kid right now? Ken Griffey Jr. Making an all out dive. Check that one out. That is a beautiful looking card. That's the first time I've seen this short print of Griffey. So, Daniel, congratulations on that. That's a great pull right there. Carter Keyboom, rookie debut. I'm not exactly sure what that one goes for, but uh, Heather and I were watching the Griffey um, documentary last night called Junior that MLB Network did. Great documentary. Very well done. Some of you probably have seen that documentary on the kid, and a lot of you watched Griffey growing up like I did. So, Daniel, congrats on that. You also have a silver pack 
Let's see what we have for you. Walker Bueller, uh, Chrome Mojo. You've got a green. It is Jeff Bagwell. That one is out of 99. So we'll get all those sleeved up as well. Daniel, you also have the last pack coming out of this stack, out of this box. And you have that coveted 1984 box loader, which should be interesting. Sometimes, I'm, I don't think they are ever autographed or anything like that, but they're still kind of cool if you like those. I used to like the uh, ones I used to put in Stadium Club back in the day. Nope, not playing fantasy baseball, Bigfoot. There's Tommy Edmond rookie card. Sleeving him up now. How could I tell that Griffey was a short print? Because Griffey's not in the base set. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You can also flip the card over and look at the numbers at the bottom, and you'll see the last two numbers are different than 10, which all the base cards have on them. Richard Lovelady. There's JC's Cards and Collectibles. Says, hey, Jabs, I just started my channel a week ago. Love all your videos. Hope everything is going well. JC's Cards and Collectibles. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Jeff McNeil rookie card, by the way. Nice one right there, All-Star Game rookie card. I hope you guys will check out JC's channel. I really appreciate the support. There's Aloy Jimenez rookie card, 84 design. Heather's looking up JC's channel right now. Can hear her typing away. There she is. So nice to have you back, Heather, and in the house tonight. There's Glaber, and your last card is going to be David Dahl. So that does it for box number one of six jumbo boxes. Daniel also has this beautiful silver pack. There's Shy City Pools with some popcorn. Shy City, thank you very much. And you have an 84, Daniel, of Ronald Acuna Jr., Nice one right there, Heather. We're just going to put this one right back in there. And I, I don't think they fit in the team bags. We'll just put it at the bottom of his stack. So that is Daniel's stuff. Box number one is in the books. And Woody said he just dropped a like on the video. Thank you very much. The Sport Collector, I only sell on Patreon. Um, you can check it out there. It's $3 per month. So here we go. Box number two. We're going to do it the same way as we did before. We are going to put all of the names out there, and then the ones digit's going to determine who gets what in terms of the silver packs and also the uh, box topper. All right, so here we go. Let's get this opened up. No, this is all sold out, unfortunately. There's no more spots available for update or archives the two one that we're doing. We do have some spots coming up for museum collection, which we will be um doing on wednesday if i can get my cases by then sometimes uh sometimes they arrive on time sometimes they don't so we'll see i can't guarantee but it does look like i will be able to get them hopefully by then museum collections a very fun release as you know so here we go goes by the ones digit whatever matches up with your ones digit for the first one we'll do the silver packs first just like last time the first silver pack goes to number two that's going to be for Matt. Congratulations on that. The second silver pack is going to go to number eight. That is IC Kid. You get that silver pack. And the box topper is going to go to number seven. Ramon gets that bad boy. Congratulations on that. So we've got that stuff divvied up. Much faster, like I said, than... Um, Bring up like a wheel and spinning it. There's Aloy Jimenez rookie card. One of one says, "What are your thoughts about the Marlins?" I am the Mar that situation scares me because yeah, it's the Marlins. Not a lot of people follow the Marlins, and they weren't expected to be good anyway. Here comes a 1981 style design of Tim Raines. Very nice card right there. It's an iconic card. It scares me because what if it starts happening to other teams, and uh, what if uh, it just spreads through the league, and we have to shut everything down? Uh, very scary. Hopefully that um, that we don't have any more instances like that. Drew Seekers, do I think Roberts is the real deal? Yes, I do. Nice. Fernando Tatis Jr. Roberts, um, Luis Robert is going to be, I, I don't want to call him the next Ronald Acuna Jr., but he seems like that type of player. Nick Senzel, rookie card. He's going to be an impact player um, for a long time, I think. So pack number one for Matt is in the books. Next up. Get these other ones out of here so as not to confuse people. Pack number two of the box, which is 12 overall. Let's see what we can find. All right, and Simon says, hey, I'm pretty new to baseball cards. Is there any resources that can help me know about each series? Yep, I'll tell you what I use. Um, Cardboard Connection is a website that has information about all the different releases along with checklists 
Uh, it's kind of like the uh, the go-to place for me. I would suggest go to Cardboard Connection. You can all they have a new release calendar. You can see what is coming up. There's Cole Tucker. Alan and Ginter was supposed to come out today, or not today, but this week, and they moved it back to September. So I was a little disappointed about that because I was hoping for a an, an nice Alan and Ginter break, even though I'm not a huge fan of Alan and Ginter. Uh, Dusk says, have you ever thought about opening your own store? Obviously, you run your YouTube and make your money that way, but what about an actual LCS? Maybe one of these days. Nick Senzel out of 852. That would be fun for sure to hang out there. Javi Baez. There's a Stan the Man Musual 62 design. It's just an iconic card. John Duplantier. Um, what else do we have in here? Jaco DeRizzi, Alex Bregman. <laughs> Thank you, Jai City says they would visit. Maybe, um... I don't know. Maybe if my brother wanted to go in with me on that, Luis Arise, that would be something that we could maybe do. So, Matt, your best card in there was a Senzel rookie card gold, which is pretty darn good. That card right there, I'm not exactly sure what it goes for, but I would not be surprised if it's a $20 card. You also have the silver pack, which we'll do right now. You've got a Joey Gallo. Trent Thornton rookie card, Cole Tucker, and there's JV Justin Verlander. So all of those Chrome Mojo cards, we'll get those all sleeved up for you as well, Mac. Thank you very much. Uh, Hanson, no, I don't sell on eBay. I only sell on Patreon. Next up, spot number 13. Are right, Bowman cards the best moneymaker cards, says Chris. Are you talking about if you want to flip cards? Obviously, you're going to make some money on those because of the mega boxes. People buying them for... Uh, 20 bucks and flipping them for 40 so I guess so, but um, if, if you're just in the hobby to collect for the love of collecting, I like stuff like just the regular base top set. I love archives a lot as well. Uh, these are two of my favorite releases. John Towner Lucas says, with the signing of D.D. Gregorius, do you think the Phillies make the playoffs? They're projected to finish third, uh, which would put them in contention for a wild card team. I would not be surprised that the Phillies made the playoffs uh, either as the second place team or the wild card team. I don't think they're going to be better than the Braves. There's Kevin Biggio rookie card. Uh, they may or may not be better than the Nationals. Steven Strasburg, I guess, is shut down for a little while. Um, obviously, Juan Soto has the virus. We'll see how fast he bounces back. It could be interesting to see if the Phillies can get in there, get that second um, spot in the, in the division. Uh, right now, I would put them in. There's Lane Thomas. Ken Griffey Jr., 84 for Greg. I love that card. There's Shohei Otani, fake rookie card. It is a gold stamped as well. Hype is here. Says, my Marlins will surprise some folks. Bet on it. There's Pete Alonso rookie card. I eh, would not be surprised if the uh, uh, Marlins surprised some people, but in kind of in a negative way. I'm kind of thinking that maybe there's a team out there, Pete Alonso, that might win less could it be possible that a team wins less than 10 games and is like 9-51? and 51? Wouldn't that be terrible? The winning percentage of – Heather, what winning percentage did that? Oh, that, that's that's really extremely low. One out of six. That's like a uh, – what is that, Heather? What's one divided by six? Like 167 winning percentage? That would be awful. Maybe not that low. But there's going to be some teams out there that don't even uh, win 20 games likely. The Marlins – Maybe. Orioles, maybe. Pirates, maybe. Adam, spot number 14, here we go for you. Got Pete Alonso, rookie debut, leading things off. Congrats on that one. Uh, yeah, Tigers only won 47 games last year. Kevin Krohn, who's an absolute masher in the minors. Like that one a lot. Kevin Krohn's going to be good with the DH there. Get, uh, kind of opens a spot for him. Lane Thomas, Alex Colume, Clayton Kershaw, and Walker Bueller. Kershaw, of course, was scratched from opening day. Hey, there's Jay Hay, Josh Harrison, released by the Phillies the other day, and apparently is signed on with the Nationals, so his career will extend on out. There's Tanner Roark, 1047, former National Tanner Roark. Cole Tucker, short print card, very nice. Cole Tucker, um, Heather, what's that mean again? Like, Rock on or something, some kind of sign language. Or, I don't know. Cool card, though. It's a short print card of Cole Tucker, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Byron says, best video breaks on YouTube. Thank you for the expert information. Better than ESPN, hands down. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you guys are hanging out today. I really 
Um, look forward to these breaks. Our next live break will be on Wednesday with Museum Collection. And that'll be a fun one because each box has four hits. And uh, there's some good stuff in there. They've got quad relics, autographs. There's Dave M. How's it going, Dave? Adam, you are in the books. Thank you very much. Next up, Adam has another pack. Let's see what we can find. Spot number 15, halfway through our second jumbo box. And then we have a case of archives, which is a fun one. It's been a while since I've done any archives. I think the last time we saw archives around the channel, it was in the, what was it, like 150, 200 box blaster break, where I had a case of those and was breaking some blasters. Lots of good rookies in that set. All right, let's see what we've got. It looks like maybe you'll have, do you have the autograph? Is that 84 going to be an auto? Nope, it's a Carter Key Boom. Hey, you do have the autograph. Ryan Helsley, congratulations. You got it after all. Ryan Helsley, rookie card 150, Legacy of Baseball for Adam. Check out the back of the card. It's numbered six of 150. Daddy Daughter likes that one as he lives out there in Cardinals country. Sorry for dealing you a loss today, Daddy Daughter, but uh, you guys beat up on the Buccos the first two games. I guess the first game wasn't too bad. That one was close. Shelby Miller. And our last card there is Mike Trout, all-star game card. What do I think of the Rays? I think the Rays could be the surprise team. They could maybe, I don't think they're going to do this, but they could maybe knock off the Yankees and win that division. They, they'll definitely be a playoff team, I do believe. Daniel's up next in spot number 16. Let's see what we can find for you. Hype is here, says it feels so good to have baseball back. Yeah, I'm so glad baseball's back. Do I think Luis Robert reminds you of Jordan Alvarez? Your, uh, he reminds me of Ronald Acuna Jr. more than anything. Uh, there's Keston here, a rookie card. Let's see. Uh, there's Nick Senzel, rookie debut as well. Let's see what else we have. SAI says, hey, Eric, I admire your consistency in making content. You're also giving me an education in MLB as an NBA fan. So SAI, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I, I wish I could talk a little bit about the NBA as well, but um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know anything about basketball whatsoever, so I stick to baseball. And glad to have you here. Thank you very much. Here's an out of 150, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Very nice. It's actually not out of 150, but it has the 150 stamp. Nice looking card nonetheless. And how about this one? Madness to Creation. Heather, can you find that Cole Tucker Devil Horns card? Uh, Madness to Creation says it's going for $125. Yeah. Could we top load that bad boy? That is a huge hit. And here's another hit. It's a Jeff McNeil relic. So we'll get that one top load. I didn't recognize that one was so valuable. Usually short prints like that are worth uh, 10, 20 bucks maybe. But uh, that, yeah, that one. Heather's going to get that one top loaded. Who got that one anyway? Adam C with $125. Cole Tucker Devilhorn. It's an SSP. So very nice. Congrats on that one. Jerkson Profar ends the pack for Daniel. Daniel, congrats on the Jeff McNeil All Star Relic. He is underrated. He had a great season last year. Not sure why he doesn't get some more love. Um, people always ask, hey, what's the best cards of Series 1 from last year? And Jeff McNeil is arguably the best rookie in 2019 top series one if you go out to target you probably still see tons of those packs on the shelves i know i do 2019 series one with aaron judge and babe ruth on the front of the pack um uh, heather wants a grocery bag of top loaders i took them out and put them up there on the shelf we are out of top loaders but heather is refreshing there's keston here a rookie card Tommy Edmond did a little summer cleaning today in the office, got everything cleaned up and organized a little bit better as we move into August. Shane Bieber, there's Jordan Luplo. Rainbow card, he mashes left-handed pitching. There's the number one saves leader of all time, Marion Rivera. Saw him playing catch with Donald Trump for quite some time when uh, Heather and I went out to Dave & Buster's to uh, have a meal the other day, and they were showing the game on TV, and that was the pregame thing, showing the great Marion Rivera, and I said, that was one of my favorite players growing up. I used to love 
Rivera before anyone even really knew much about him. Here's the um, bonus hit here. Albert Pujols, 84. Get this one back in here for Ramon. Hopefully you love Pujols. He's going to be a Hall of Famer for sure. Don't know how much time he's going to have left as he is aging quickly. There's conspiracy theorists out there that think that Albert Pujols might actually be a few years older than he actually is listed as. I see kids is up now. And by the way, I see has the next, actually just take all these out, has the next two packs after this. And also the silver pack. So let's see what we can find for you. Baseball Brody says, hey, make my day. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do, but hello. And thank you for being here. There's Cole Tucker, regular rookie card. They moved Cole Tucker out to right field. The Buckos did. Uh, I guess they're trying to find some space for him. Uh, obviously, shortstop is held down by Kevin Newman. There's Edwin Diaz. Out of 2019, he's got to try to bounce back. Had a terrible year last year for the Mets. Just um, his slider was not really effective. I think they hit like 290 off of his slider last year. And uh, he struggled mightily, lost his closing job. And we'll see if he can bounce back to how he was with Seattle. There's Brent's Card Break says, Hi, Eric. Happy Sunday. 23 subscribers to get to 100. Brent's Card Breaks. Let's help him out, guys. we got over 500 folks in here. I hope you guys will... At least some of you get on over there. Looks like Daddy Daughter just put the link up there. There's Luis Arise, rookie card, Shed Long, and Marcus Stroman. All right, so you have a silver pack. That pack, not the greatest pack. Your best rookie card was Luis Arise. Let's see if your silver pack can make up for it. How about a Griffey with the Cincinnati Reds wearing number 30 to honor his father who wore that number with the Reds. Lane Thomas, you got a purple of Brandon Lau. It's his rookie card, and it's numbered out of 75. So that's probably is your best card. Very nice one right there. And we have um, one of these, which I'll probably just throw that in the trash, a little um, promotional thing there for Topps Holiday or something like that. So I see kids pack number one is in the books. Diverse said that you had an insane box. A uh, big league, tell us about it. John Towner Lucas says, favorite Philly, can't say Harper. So you like the Phillies, but you're not a Harper fan. Actually, I like Bryce Harper, believe it or not. There's Keston here, a rookie debut card. We're going to get that one sleeved up. Let's see if I see Kid can find any of the good rookies. Michael Chavis is a good one. Big league is a very good, affordable set, and I think they have a collector box of that on sale right now on Steel City Collectibles for pretty darn cheap. And like $24 for a collector box. So you get some packs of Big League. And you also get like a starting lineup. How about the weird Cole Tucker? What? Heather, is that Incredibles? What is that? How's he dressed? Heather has no idea. Two Cole Tucker short prints in the same box? I think this is just the regular short print. Oh, Mr. Freeze, I think. It's Mr. Freeze. J. Bob and Son says, um, Daddy Daughter Car Breaks is only 30 away from 700. And I remember like a week or two ago, he's, he just hit 600. So he's growing quickly. Let's get him there to say thanks for dropping all those links. J. Bob and Sons, thank you very much. And uh, there's the link. Uh, J. Bob's got the link for J. Bob and Sons. And um, make sure you check out Daddy Daughter as well. And Heather has the link for Daddy Daughter. Very nice Cole Tucker short print, probably worth... I don't know what that goes for. Frozone, um, 20 bucks maybe. Three to 10 bucks, says Robert. That's uh, that's pretty low. I remember when that card first came out, everybody wanted that one. It was a lot higher in value. There's Michael Chavis, rookie card, rookie debut. And Carter Key Boom, rookie card is a nice one. And Yasiel Puig is the last one. So your second pack, I see kids, better than the first, at least in my opinion. What's my dream card? It says Lil Perry. My dream card is 1952 Tops Mickey Mantle. Oh, that would be a great one for sure. Leo says, my six-year-old daughter is named Snow, and she usually is watching the video. Shout out to you, Snow. That's pretty awesome. Six-year-old Snow, thanks for watching the baseball card opening. I hope that you go with your daddy to the stores and help him pick out baseball cards. Next time you do, pick them out a good pack. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see what we have. Brandon Search says, just wondering when the cards are for the two breaks. Brandon, I think th we sent those out. If I'm not mistaken, you were named something else in the breaks. It wasn't Brandon Swisher, so that's why I didn't put it in with your $26 tier. It might have been 
pulling for Pete or something like that? Does that is that right? Are you pulling for Pete? Because if so, your stuff was um, at least packaged up and ready to be sent out. It was either sent out yesterday or it's being sent out um, tomorrow. That's it. So that's why you didn't get it because it was listed under pulling for Pete. That happens sometimes. There wasn't a Brandon Swisher pal, so when I was cross-checking all the names on our uh, shelving unit, I didn't see anything for Brandon. Uh, but it's coming. There's John Tana Lucas says, fighting is illegal because of the virus, so if there's a fight, will police be involved? I don't think police will be involved, but I do think that um, there will be some hefty suspensions for sure. Um, when do the cards usually ship after breaks? Typically within 30 days. And uh, if it hasn't shipped, just send me an email at Yahoo if you're waiting on it. I should make like a... Um, I'd have to talk to Heather if she wanted to be the customer service and do like a Heather Jabs Family customer service email. You can just run in and check on the breaks and see where we're at with processing them. I don't know. Maybe we could do that. That's the last... Pack of box number two. Box number three coming up. Here are all the contestants in this next one. How do I get uh, all these boxes? Typically, I buy them online, places like eBay or any of the uh, big um, baseball card box um, dealers out there, case dealers. Uh, here we go. Here's all the contestants in this next box. So we're going to divide up the cool stuff in here people love those silver packs and the most fair way to do it is to just do it at random and the way i'm doing it if you haven't seen the first two boxes and just got in here recently is we go by just open the first pack first card we go by the ones digit so if it was like card number 233 it would go to shane if it was card like 54 it would go to bruce and we're gonna do the silver pack first shout out to you moon boots i used to have moon boots heather my dad, I think, used to call them moon boots or moon shoes. It was those basketball training ones with the big platforms on the uh, ends of them. And here we have Yasmani Grandal for the silver pack. It's going to go to number four. Bruce gets the first silver pack. Then Nick Ramirez is going to give the next silver pack to number seven. So Ed gets the next silver pack. And the box loader it goes to number one. Jonna, or Jonah gets that one. Congratulations on that. Uh, Daddy Dollar said I missed a $1.99 super chat. Did I? Let me go back and double check. It's welcome to my world. Uh, Heather, did I miss? I, I did miss that. We'll have Heather or Daddy Daughter drop that link in there. Welcome to my world. No um, message there, but thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. Let's move all these other ones off to the side so we weren't confused as to who the heck is up right now. It is Jonna. Or Jonah, not, I think that might have been Jonathan, actually, and your PayPal was just shortened. So we'll call you Jonathan. Hopefully that's correct. There is Jeff McNeil, rookie card all-star game variant. Wade Boggs, Kevin Crone, rainbow card. I'm going to sleeve that one because he, he could be a master in the big leagues. You've got the Whitey Ford out of 150 manufactured. Joey Gallo. That counts as a hit, unfortunately. Um, at least Tops counts as a hit. They give you three hits. Uh, there's Jorge Polanco, Josh Bell, Aroldis Chapman. And the last one, there's Paul DeYoung. And Jonathan, you also have this large 1984-style card. It's going to be Javi Baez. Check it out. Nice big 4 by 6 card for you to frame if you want to. Go out to Walmart and get like a dollar frame. Um, all right, so you are in the books, at least your first pack. Now let's get your second pack underway, Jonathan. Let's see what we can find now in spot number 22. Gary's got all the listings for the Cole Tucker short prints that we have found. Uh, Lewis says, Jabs, who had a better career, Jason Jombie or Mickey Mantle? That is um, not even a good – is that even a serious question? Uh, Kevin Biggio, obviously Mickey Mantle with his 536 career home runs. Um, Bree said, I used to be on the Patreon page until you lost your job. I hope you recover that. Sorry to hear that, man. Uh, selling some cards to make some money up, that's – that's a good idea, and um, hopefully things turn around for you. I know a lot of people are in similar situations out there as 
a lot of people have been affected over the past couple months. Uh, there is Sandy Koufax. Robert says, what's the next new product break? Robert, great question. There's Amir Garrett. This is going to be out of 69. Black out of, or 67. 50 of 67. Very nice Amir Garrett right there. The next break is going to be Museum Collection. That comes out on Wednesday. And then we'll also be live on Thursday. 1960 Tops. Throwback Thursday. That should be a fun one for sure. Fernando Tatis Jr. And a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Both rookie cards. Rookie debut and home run derby one. Let's see, Nick Senzel rookie card. If you'd like to be a Patreon patron, Matthew, you can check out the the link in the description to this video. There's always a description box that comes with every video. Yep, we're doing 1960 tops. So the way it works is I have a complete set of 1960 tops. I'm going to arrange it into lots. Um, maybe just team bag them up and um, then give each lot a number one through 20 or 30. I don't know how many I'll make. And um, then we will randomize all the people. Because obviously one person is going to get a Willie McCovey. One person is going to get a Carl Yastrzemski rookie card. Willie McCovey rookie card. Mickey Mantle. Warren Spawn. Roberto Clemente. All those guys. And I will divvy those up so that, you know, uh, every pack gets something good. So you don't get a pack that has all commons in it. I'm trying to make sure everybody gets a Hall of Famer in there. So we'll do that. Shane, you're up right now. I will have to... Um, List that on, I'll probably get that listed on Patreon on probably Wednesday. There's Nick Senzel rookie debut. That'll be a fun one. Um, I figure I'll never, ever get a chance to do a 1960 Tops box because obviously, like I said earlier, that would be like a $100,000 box if there even are any in existence. So we'll do it that way. There is Xander Bogarts, gold. I didn't even know there was a Dr. Fauci card. I'd have to look into that. Our oldest Chapman. There's Victor Robles. One thing about him is uh, he definitely does not know how to throw a baseball. If you saw the first pitch at Nationals Park. Um, I actually always get really angry whenever I see somebody go out for a first pitch. And it's evident that they've never thrown a baseball in their life. Um, a la, what, what's his name, Heather? That rapper, 50 Cent. Did you ever see his first pitch at, at um, not Chase Stadium, City Field? I was like, all right, I, I've just lost all respect for you, guy. There's Michael Chavis, Michael Brantley, Carter Keyboom, rookie card, Yasiel Puig, Josh Donaldson, Acuna, and Domingo Santana. You know who is really good at first pitches? Love him or hate him, George W. Bush could fire a strike when he needed to. <laughs> he was good at that for sure. First pitch. Um, all right, next up, Bruce. Let's see what you can find in your pack. Spot number 24, and you also have the silver pack. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Edwin Encarnacion. What did you say, Heather? Is my email on there? I don't, it might be under business, uh, business inquiries, maybe. Uh, Kevin Biggio, rookie card is a nice one. Josh Harrison, Jury's Familia. There's a gold of Chris Paddock, rookie debut. That is a nice one right there. 1979, Ozzie Smith, iconic card. That is a great card. Love that card. You probably will never see it centered ever very well. Vladdy Jr., rookie debut. Good one right there. Who's the most underrated rookie for the season? Well, I've been looking at Yu Chang after seeing him play against the Buccos in those exhibition games. Kind of, uh, kind of impressed by him. We'll see. Uh, he has no value to his cards whatsoever. Let's see what we can find now in spot number 24. Bruce's silver pack. Love the silver packs. Kevin Biggio. T-Dog Shea is here. What's up, man? Hope everything's going well for you as well. And a very nice Pete Alonso. How about that, Bruce? That's a great card right there. Pete Alonso, Silver Pack Mojo. Congrats on that one. How often does my target restock? Um, yeah, it's pretty much weekly around here. And I, I go once a month and go pick them up. And yeah, Travis James Karinchak is an absolute beast. I've talked about him before on the channel. His strikeout numbers are absolutely crazy. He strikes out like 17 per nine. Uh, I think he like he pitches like 40 innings or 36 innings and strikes out over 100 batters. That's crazy. 
Uh, people cannot touch him. Edgar, let's see what's in your pack. Spot number 25. He's got closing uh, clothes are written all over him. If he can just, uh, you know, not uh, buckle under the pressure there like some people do. Armando Guzman says, what's up, Eric and Heather? Been fighting my depression. We'll be back soon. Good luck, everyone. Love y'all. Armando, thank you very much for being here. And uh, I really hope that uh, you work through whatever's uh, going on. If you want to send me an email, we can talk about it. And uh, glad to have you here, man. Uh, thank you very, very much. And uh, you guys know Armando has been around the channel for a few months now and has always been a good dude for sure. There's Thomas Pannone and Ted Williams. How about a Jason Martin auto? That's the auto from the box, 1984. Uh, he's not that great of a player, believe it or nice, believe it or not, but it's still nice that you got that one. Uh, I've seen him play in Pittsburgh. I have not been impressed by him. Kind of like a fifth outfielder type guy, at least from what I've seen. Not a ton of power or anything like that. There's Oscar Mercado, rookie card, Amir Garrett, and the last one is Austin Meadows, who I absolutely love. As I say all the time. All right, so let's see what we can find next. Cesar, your mystery. Did you get the um? Did you get an email from stamps.com? We sent your stuff out. Your mystery box is on the way. I remember doing that one. I think today we did that one. Edgar's up right now in spot number twenty-six. Let's see what we can find. Bo says, "Hey Heather." Bo says, "Did you see the Rangers letting fifty percent of the fans in?" Uh, looks like, huh? No, the Rangers. Texas. I want to book a flight down to Dallas. Go to Arlington. Uh, that's awesome. Texas Rangers. Uh, those tickets are going to be... I'm going to have to do a little research on that. I don't know if there's going to be... There may be restrictions like no out-of-state people and stuff like that. We'll have to see. Adam716 says, hey, Eric, what did I miss so far? One subscriber short of 100. Adam716, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check him out. Our best one so far has been a super short print of Cole Tucker, about a $100 card. Uh, it's the one where he's given the uh, rock on horns there. There's John Duplantier as well. Breeze card said, where did you see that? I live in Texas. There's no way. There's Cody Bellinger out of 150. So, Edgar, congratulations on that one. There's Adam716. If you'd like to check his channel out, be his 100th subscriber, you can do so right now. Cody Bellinger, nice hit right there out of 150. Game used jersey. A National League most valuable player last year. Diverse Gaming says, what are some good $20 to $30 boxes? Well, what are you looking for? Are you looking for old stuff? Or are you looking for new stuff? Card of Keyboom rookie card. $30, you can get a box of 90 tops for that amount now. That's what they go for. Um, there's a Tatis Jr. If you're looking for newer stuff, I would just say try to hit up some blasters. There is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. All right. So, Edgar, thank you very much for your support. There is yours. Next up, spot number 27 with the Silver Pack. This is for Ed, and Ed also has spot number 28. Neil says, the Dallas Times is reporting the Rangers want to allow 20,000 fans in the park. They need per permission from the MLB and also the governor of Texas. Well, I can tell you right now they're probably not going to say yes because um, the Blue Jays were all ready to play all their games in Pittsburgh this season, and unfortunately our governor nixed that plan, so... Uh, I would say no, it's probably not, not going to happen. Until it's set in stone and approved and they're selling tickets, then I would not get my hopes up. There's a Mike Ford rookie card out of 2019, numbered 1750. Chris Paddock rookie card. Pete Alonso home run derby. That was a great moment from last year, the home run derby. Looks like there's going to be no all-star game this year, which means no home run derby. Um, I don't kind of disappointed by that. I was hoping that they would kind of reassess the situation as the season goes along and maybe have the all-star game after the season. Like, doesn't the NFL do that? They play like the pro bowl, like after the super bowl, I was hoping they would do something like that. So we could still get a home run derby, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So let's see what Ed has in spot number 27. He's got this silver pack that he won. 
We got Randy Johnson, Will Smith, and Jose Canseco. Cesar, I'm, I can give you the tracking number. Um, and if you want to hang on at the end of the uh, video, there's Ed, spot number 27 in the books. All right, so let's see what else we have. Or uh, Cesar, it would probably be easier if you just wanted to send me an email at my Yahoo account. I could just email it to you. And T and J says, when do you send out your $3 packages? Well, you don't get anything on the $3 tier sent to you monthly. If you're asking about a break, typically I send the breaks that you purchased into after I send the monthly packages uh, to all the Patreon members. So right now we have just a couple left to do. We have the four, seven, what else? Four, seven, and 15s to do tonight. There's Kevin Biggio. We do not ship internationally, Pedro, unfortunately. There's Mike Yastrzemski. Unfortunately, people will buy into a break and they'll be located in like some other country in like Austria or somewhere and then expect to pay like uh, 25, this is a $25 break, for example, and they'll expect to pay $25 and then they'll get mad when I ask for an additional $20 to ship their card because that's the cost of shipping overseas. There's a nice Tatis Jr. 84 rookie card. Love that one. Antarctica. I've never shipped anything to Antarctica. Let's see. And Anthony says, can you confirm that I got an invoice payment? Um, you know what? I'll do that right now because we went live two minutes late because a few people did not pay their invoices. So I just made it a, a little battle for the last spot. And you actually got the last spot there, spot number 20. All right. So Ed is in the books. Congrats on your cards. I do not ship to Canada either unless you are going to pay for the shipping because even... Canada costs a lot of money. So here we go, Brian. Let's see what we can find for you. In spot number 29, Keston here, a rookie card is a good one. Mitch Keller pitched today against Tommy Edmond and the Cardinals. Did a nice job after being struggled last year. 100K with no vids. Do you actually have 100,000 100, subscribers with no videos? What is your secret? I would love to know. Uh, let's see what else. There's Shane Bieber, Richard Lovelady, Derek Dietrich, who I guess has been released by the Reds. He's no longer around. How about an Austin Riley short print? I've never seen this card before. You can see the number at the bottom is numbered 55, it looks like. All the other ones are out of 10. A very nice Austin Riley short print card for Brian. Congrats on that one. If anybody has eBay handy, let us know what that one goes for. And... Um, Usually those short prints are around $10 or so. But if it's a super short print, as you saw, they can be upwards of $100 or more. John Means and Trevor Story. So, Brian, the Austin Riley saved your pack for you. It's his rookie card, too. Kerry says a $15 card right there. And here's our last pack of box number three. 30 bucks says Bo Hexagon. Should you buy the 2019 complete set, says Armando. I'll tell you what. If you go to Target, depending on where you go, you could still find them. And uh, Heather was out looking for me for baseball cards at a Target and said she saw a bunch of 2018 complete sets on the shelves at Target. Nate's Breaks and Unboxing says, Hi, Eric and Heather. 12 subscribers away from 100, and you all rock. Nate's Breaks and Unboxings, thank you very much. I hope some of you guys will get on over there. He only needs a few subscribers. Got 500 people in here. Just some of you will peel away to Nate's and help him out. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there. Thank you, Daddy Daughter. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to go to any of these channels and check them out, just uh, follow along with our live feed, and the links get dropped after the Super Chat. There's a Michael Brantley gold. Nice one right there out of 2019. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I would buy it or not. Um, I do know that the 2019 set, I saw a bunch of those at Target, and I was considering maybe picking some up to sit on them. Not literally, but to throw on my shelf in storage, and then maybe in 10 years, never know, right? I looked on eBay, and they were $59.99 at Target, and they're selling for about the same amount on eBay right now, so I decided not to. Maybe that was a bad decision. There's Luis Arise. But that 2019 complete set, you got a Tatis in there, Aloy Jimenez, all those Series 2 guys. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I will go pick those up after all, just as kind of an investment. All right. So, Brian, you are in the books. Sports Cards 0830 says, new to the YouTube world. 
Would love some support. Sports Cards 0830. I hope you guys will check him out. Thank you very much. Daddy Daughter, if you'd like to drop the link in there for everybody. Heather just stepped out of the room for a moment. So Sports Cards, I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will support him. And I see a note from Johnny. He says, hey, Eric, I received my Patreon package yesterday. Went through the box of 88 Donruss. Pulled some good cards. Barry Bonds, Cal Ripken Jr. along with the Roberto Alomar rookie card. Congrats on that one. That's pretty awesome, man. I'm glad that you got those. I picked up those 88 um, boxes, as you saw at the card store. Um, picked up a case of those. And wait till you see our next purchase. My brother and I went back to that same card store um, out in Ohio. When was that? Friday we went back there, and business was booming there. And you would not believe how many boxes I picked up. Remember that wall of wax that was depleted the first time we were there? Well... It was depleted after I left this time because um, I pretty much filled up my entire car with wax boxes. So we are set now for the $50 tier for a few months. Daddy Daughter said, I loved my Patreon box of this month. Adds to our series. So yeah, check out Daddy Daughter, everybody. Great channel over there. He's going to be searching for Frank Thomas, no name on front. All right, so let's see what we've got. We're going to divvy up these bonus packs in here. All right, so the way we've been doing this again... We go by the ones digit, and whatever matches with the people in here, uh, they will be assigned that pack. So Spencer Turnbull, for the first silver pack, that one's going to go to number six. So Pay Dirt Sports Cards, there we go. We'll get that one opened up. Brian Dozier goes to number eight for the silver pack. So Joanna, a.k.a. Jack, Jack's going to get the silver pack. And the uh, box topper, because of Keston here, is going to give that to number 10, which is Jack again. So Jack with a couple bonus items there. Congrats on that. And now let's get everybody else off the screen and continue on with Jason's pack. All right, Josh, let's get you out of there for now. Yeah, the complete sets have rookie SPs. I don't know about that. Um, they do. They say complete sets on the back. There's Tommy Edmund rookie card. They're definitely nice. Uh, complete sets of tops, 60 bucks. I'm kind of waiting to see if it's going to go on clearance. Uh, if it was, if it would go down and be like 25% off or whatever, then maybe I would pick it up. Sports cards says, I can't believe the Reds lost. They will. They're not going to win them all, but I would, I would say if you had to ask me who I'm going to pick for the NL Central, it would be the Cincinnati Reds, believe it or not. Got a gold car there. Michael Brantley, Tony Gwynn, 83 tops. Can you believe what an 83 tops BBCE box goes for now? Absolutely crazy. Uh, it's like $1,200 or more, I think. It used to be, when I was buying them, like, I think 400 bucks. It's like tripled in price. All BBCE boxes from the 80s are just skyrocketing. And then Treaser says, I received two racks. Uh, Random acts of kindness from Brian Gray sends you Ohio State player cards. That's awesome. Very nice of him for sure. Russell Martin, Joey Gallo finishing off Jason's pack here. What do I think of the Dodgers? I think they will be uh, in the playoffs for sure. Possibly the favorite to come out of the NL as the representative and into the World Series. We'll see. It all depends on injuries. It's really tough to pick this year because, as you know, it just takes uh, one guy getting the virus and passing it on to everybody else, and uh, that could completely change the whole complexion of a division race. Joshua's up right now. Spot number 32. Let's see what we can find for you, Joshua. All right, so you got a nice thick card in there. Probably it's going to be a manufactured one. Any chance of the Pirates making the playoffs? If I had to bet, I would say no. And Connor said, I just subscribed to your channel. Thank you very much, Connor. I really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody that has hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Thank you for helping the channel grow. Let's see what we've got here. There's a Javi Baez after the Clemente. We'll be looking for his card in 1960 Tops Throwback Thursday. Adrian says, love seeing the vids. Keep up the great work from Australia. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. That's out of 150, by the way. 114 of 150. Uh, Johnny says, what Tops complete set are you talking about? There is complete sets on the shelves at Target from 2019. Also 2018. Heather saw a bunch um on the shelves there you can pick they're like 59.99 for the complete factory sealed set there's pete alonso rookie card might be something to invest in i would say if you're going to get it maybe just 
buy it and set it aside and see if it goes up in value. There's NC Baseball card. It says, always love rookie card hunting. Also trying for 250 subscribers. NC Baseball cards. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there for everybody. If you'd like to check out NC Baseball cards. I really appreciate the support. As we go into Jeremy's, the breeze says 500 feet, 550 people watching and 200 thumbs up. Almost at 200 thumbs up. Come on, guys. I think two people just hit it. Thank you very much for hitting that thumbs up button. I really appreciate that, everybody. As Jeremy, we look through your cards. Hey, 200 already. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Let's see what we have here. I do see a gold card. I'm hoping that we can find a nice rookie gold. There's a pro far, a Freddie Freeman, who um, supposedly, he really suffered from the virus. He had some very, I guess, intense symptoms, and he was actually praying to God that it wouldn't take him, which is pretty scary. So I'm glad that uh, he is on the other side of that. I love Freddie Freeman. Actually... I picked up a few boxes of 2011 Top Series 1, which has the Freeman and Chris Sell rookie card for $14 a piece at the card store out in Ohio. They're blaster boxes. They sell for like over $60, bucks, and they were $15. And I was like, I have to buy those. Uh, that is an awesome investment for sure. Jan, you're up next. Spot number 34. Let's see what we can find for you. Charlie's been subscribed to the channel for two years. Thank you, Charlie. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Caden uh, says, We went to Triple Play Vintage today and got a box of Select and got a Relic out of your dawn out of 49. Hey, you just missed us. I could not believe how busy they were. They said, Since I dropped that video last week, they've been uh, just constant stream of people coming in there. I think the day after I dropped the video, they said they were lined up outside the door waiting to come in. They had like over 200 people. Um, so... I'm glad that store is doing great. And I want to do more LCS because some of the people that I talked to in the store when we went back on Friday said they didn't even know about the place and they lived very close to it. And the video kind of exposed them a great little gem in their town. There's Jim Tomey, Kevin Biggio, Rainbow. There's a Elvis Luciano rookie card. You got the autograph and not the biggest name, but it's still an autograph. As you know, a lot of times with Tom's products, uh, their base products like this, a lot of the autos are those rookie autos. Uh, True says, am I considering doing a collab video with BITG? Yes, he's already asked me, and I've already agreed to go down to West Virginia and do a video at his store. So that'll be pretty awesome. There's a record-breaking month card of Bellinger. So, Jan, thank you very much, and congrats on getting the auto. Uh, Nick says... There is a great card store in Cincinnati, at least when I was there. I, what was it called? Like Ideal Sports Card or something like that? I got a bunch of good boxes there for like $5 a piece. That was like, oh, I don't know, a year, two years ago maybe. Luster is up right now in spot number 35. Let's see what we can find for you, Lester. Cole Tucker rookie card. Austin Riley, rookie. So far, none of the big names. Austin Riley was hot last year up until May, and then pitchers kind of figured out how to expose him. There's Madness to Creation. Says, rank the Pirates. Stargell, Kiner, Clemente, and Bonds. That's a tough one. If you're just talking about their Pirates career, then I'm probably going to have to go with Clemente number one on that list. But if you're talking about all time, uh, then Bonds goes to number one for me. I go Bonds. Clemente, Stargell, and Kiner, if you're talking about their all-time career. Kiner was really good. Um, he doesn't get enough credit. I I might, I don't know. I guess that's what I'm going to, that's a really tough one. But I have to go Bonds number one. There's Annie. How's it going? And Clemente was his, with his 3,000 hits and all those all-star games and his gold glove defense, I think, will go number two for me. There's Luis Arise. But you guys know that I love Barry Bonds. and a lot of, I get a lot of guff for it all the time, but I used to love watching him. Just amazing. Sometimes I'll even go on YouTube and just watch Barry Bonds' highlights just to reminisce about how good he was. Lester, thank you very much. 35's in the books. Next up is 36. Pay Dirt Sports Cards. There's Madness to Creation's link if you'd like to head on over to their channel and support them. And Brian Zisa says, anyone bought Heather a coffee yet? If not, here you go. Good luck, everybody. Thank you very much, Brian. I really appreciate that. Heather did have her coffee today, and she got a Wendy's 
coffee because it, she loves the iced coffee and she picked up Wendy's salads today for our dinner. It was Brian Reynolds' rookie card and tried that. Heather, what do you like more, the Wendy's or the McDonald's coffee? Heather says McDonald's iced coffee wins in her opinion. But if you see something new, you got to try it out. There is that nice Tatis rookie debut, 150 card. Some extra added value to that one, pay dirt. Congrats on that one. And you also get a Gary Sanchez out of 50, 8 of 50 All-Star game. That's a thick relic right there compared to the other All-Star game ones that we had. Nice. Congratulations on that one. I just saw the comments scroll by quickly, so I don't know who said it. I see somebody doesn't like the artificial crowd noise. Yeah, it's weird, but I think it would be even more weird to have complete silence in the background, so I guess I'll go with it. It's better than complete silence. There's Pete Alonso rookie card. Let's check out Pay Dirt's bonus pack, his silver pack. You're going to have yourself a Hall of Famer, Edgar Martinez right there, Byron Buxton, Aloy Jimenez rookie card, and John Duplantier. Very, very nice. Like that one, Pay Dirt. Congrats on the silver pack. And now we move into spot number 37. 38, 39, and 40. These are all going to Jack. So, Jack, you have the rest of the box. We can just take all of your packs out there. Let's see what we can find for you. Start off with your first one. We've got two more jumbo boxes. Coming up, and then uh, Bruce says, my PayPal shows two at twenty five nine. I had one spot. Do I have another spot? Uh, no, Bruce. If it's not listed, if it's listed as one, you only have one. So I will send you a partial refund, or I can give you uh, an automatic spot in Prism if you'd like it, and uh, we can just credit that twenty five ninety nine towards that. Uh, send me an email, and we will discuss what's the best option for you. Sorry about that. I made a mistake when I was... Fill in the break. There's Wayne. How's it going, Wayne? As we go through Jack's cards, Jeff McNeil All-Star Game rookie, Mookie Betts gold card back in his Red Sox days. We've got Russell Martin, Joey Gallo, Greg Holland, Chris Paddock rookie card, Glaber. Kevin says, any idea how they're going to replace those All-Star Game and Home Run Derby cards? Those take up a nice percentage of the set is uh, a lot of the good rookies they would use for those i don't know what they're going to do maybe they'll put some i don't know lesser names in there guys that normally wouldn't be in the uh, update set we'll see maybe they will do more of those dumb team cards jay pop and son says who is your goat for baseball greatest of all time that's a tough question I'm going to have to say the greatest player I ever saw was Barry Bonds. Now, was he the greatest player of all time? A lot of people would consider that to be Babe Ruth because of how great of a pitcher he was before becoming the hitter. I feel like if you did an in-depth analysis, Babe Ruth would be the greatest of all time. If you look how much better he was than the competition, like he would be hitting like 50-plus home runs a year, and second place would have like 12 when he really first started breaking out. There's Kevin Biggio. So Babe Ruth is probably the greatest of all time, but for my lifetime, what I've seen with my eyes, it's been Barry Bonds. JT Rail Muto. Michael Chavis, 150. There's Johnny Mize, 1952 iconic card. Freddie Freeman, Junkyard Breaks. Says, Wouldn't it be cool to have a veteran's home run derby? That'd be awesome. Bring back all the old guys that can still swing it. Griffey looks like he could still play. Barry Bonds has lost a ton of weight. It looks like the 1986 Barry Bonds is all skinny. Bring him back. Put, uh, like, Albert Bell in there. Bobby Bonilla is, like, 400 pounds. Put him in there. I'm sure he could still get it out of the park. There's Fernando Tatis Jr., Vladdy Jr. And let's see what else you have, Jack. You got a silver pack. Some of those guys are too old, like Willie Mays, going to be able to partake in Home Run Derby. But those guys are in their 40s. Gary Sheffield would put on an absolute show. I've seen him on Instagram um, absolutely crushing it. There's a Cole Tucker. Out of 199. So a pretty good pack right there. Lots of sleeved cards for Jack. And here we go. Next. A mess of things says just stopping by between shopping jobs. Are you still working on Instacart? A mess of things. Thanks for stopping in. 
<laughs> Daddy Dar says, Bobby Bo should participate. He's still getting paid after all. That would be a cool idea. Pete Alonso, I think they need to make it happen. They always do that celebrity all-star game. Um, for the Home Run Derby, if you haven't been to Home Run Derby, the way it works is they oftentimes have like a celebrity all-star game, and then they do the Home Run Derby afterwards, or I can't, maybe it's just batting practice in the Home Run Derby. Maybe they do the all-star game now on the uh, Futures game day, but that would be pretty awesome if they would do that again. There's Ryan Sandberg. That's a short print card. Looks like, uh, is that Don Zimmer back there? Give him a high five. Ryan Sandberg, short print. A very nice card. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah, the uh, I guess the stipulation should be you have to be retired. Nick Senzel to be in the Home Run Derby. And uh, that'd be pretty awesome for sure. I'd love to see that. Mookie Betts and Zach Britton for Jack. So nice rookies in that pack as well for Jack H. And here we go. Here's your last pack. Let's see what we can find for Jack. And he says, I invested $200 in Series 2 without getting Luis Robert. I was relieved when I found two solo packs at Walmart and finally found him. That would be tough. Opening like $200, like 10 blaster boxes worth and not finding Luis Robert. That would be awful. All right, here's your last pack, Jack. Let's see what we can find. Daddy Daughter's got the link to Hits Only with the 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much, Hits Only. I really appreciate that. Nice Keston here and Nick Senzel rookie card. And uh, let's see what else we have. Brad Hand. Here comes an 84 of Robbie Cano. A mess of things said, who saw the orbit cutout at Oakland Coliseum? I didn't don't I didn't see that, but I saw all those cutouts there and it was creepy. Uh, all those cardboard cutouts behind home plate. I'm trying to like watch some highlights of the game. And uh there's just cardboard cutouts like where the crowd should be sitting behind home plate. Pretty weird. I think they had like six thousand cutouts there. Uh, I can deal with official uh or unofficial crowd noise. Artificial crowd noise, but the cardboard cutouts actually kind of creepy. Let's see what you have in your box topper here. It's Jose Altuve. So who's going to be the first one to put the trash can emoji on the screen? Every time we pull an Altuve card, that is always posted, no matter what. So, Jack, thank you very much. Let the yeah, Shy City's got it. And now oh, we move on to our next pack, our next box. Here are the participants in our next jumbo box. We have Jack H, Bradford Chris, Cosmic Clouds has two. Actually make that three. Then we got Tony with two, Albert, and then Pete. So we're going to decide who gets those um, silver packs out of this right now. I'll be breaking baseball, says I'm anxiously awaiting my jumbo pack. Best of luck to you. All right, so here's the box topper. Here's the silver packs. Let's grab the first pack out of here and see who gets these bonus items in the box. So, Estrubal Cabrera is going to decide who gets the first silver pack. It's going to go number one to Jack. So Jack gets this pack and also the silver pack. Gregory Soto, number four for the next silver pack. That goes to Cosmic Clouds. And... DJ LeMay, who's going to give the box topper to number three. That is going to be Chris. A couple super chats popping up right now. Uh, it looks like Buff... Is it Buffus? How would you say that, Heather? Heather says Buffus. Sports card collecting with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Buffus. And cards and comics with a $15 super chat. I hope you'll check them out. And John Fishman says some investment advice by Pat Tabler... PSA 10 cards, John. Thank you very much. Uh, very interesting. Pat Tabler, that's a name from when I was growing up. PSA 10s. Uh, John Fishman, thank you very much. And also, make sure you check out Cards and Comics as well. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the support. Keston Hira, rookie debut card. Nick Senzel, rookie card. Jeff McNeil, rookie all-star game card. There's Daddy Daughter with the link to Cards and Comics. And B-I-T-G is in the house. By the way, Orioles 2-1, all my dreams have come true. 
B-I-T-G. Thank you very much. Wouldn't that be something that the Orioles somehow made the playoffs this year? Hope you guys will check out B-I-T-G. There's Vladdy Jr. 84 rookie card. We are just talking about B-I-T-G a little earlier when uh, Truth asked if I would be going down to see him at his card store, and I am all 100% in with that. I love doing those card show videos. Uh, not card show, but card um, LCS videos where you get a local card stores my brother and i went out to two card stores this what was that friday we'll be bringing you a video for that early next week let's check out jack silver pack to go along with his nice rookies in there senzel vladi let's see what else there's clint frazier who by the way just got optioned down which really stinks and nick senzel rookie card is this a gold it looks like a gold Anytime I see that, that color, I think, oh, are we going to have a Super Fractor? But that's not a Super Fractor. It is a Christian Yelich gold numbered out of 50. 39 of 50. Very, very nice. Nick Senzel on a Shoei Otani fake rookie card as well. So, Jack, thank you very much. Pretty good silver pack right there. Let's see what we can find in our next one. Have I been to the shop of a follower yet? We might make history. B-I-T-G. Um, no, I haven't been to a... I don't know if uh, Terry from Vintage is subscribed or not. I know he watches my videos. For sure. He was very appreciative of the video that we made there uh, last week. Got a ton of business from it. Uh, lots of people didn't even know that place existed and kind of flocked there in droves. And even when we went back a week later, the parking lot was filled. There's only one space available and I would say when we went in, there was a dozen people in there just uh, standing around looking through all the, the boxes. Just have a ton of great stuff there. Uh, here we go. Here comes a gold hit. It is Richie Martin. BITG says, I might not let you leave. Harper's Ferry is gorgeous. Heather will love it. Have you ever been to Harper's Ferry? She says no, so neither have I. So we are looking forward to that. Jonathan Scope, Family Business, Griffey Jr. When are you opening BITG so I can kind of figure out exactly uh where that fits into the schedule and we'll try to at least give me a time frame when's the big opening day and is your store going to be called bitg back in the game there's ronald acuna jr's last one for bradford so bradford thank you very much spot number 42 is in the books only have oh, what is it 18 packs left to go or so chris you're up right now spot number 43 you've got that special Box topper, 1984. All right, so we start off with Brendan Rogers on the top. It's his rookie card. Looks like you have the commemorative hit patch. So that's sort of exciting. Maybe there's an auto on there. Usually not. End of August, start of September. I figured sometime in the fall you can do it. Uh, back in the game sports, because I think that's the perfect name for your place, actually. I was thinking what you're going to name it. And here it comes. It is going to be, there's a Willie Stargell not numbered. It is a Frank Robinson manufactured patch, not numbered, but nice heavy medallion right there. And a super chat from Pete D says, feel free to pull me a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card auto jabs. Thanks in advance. And as always, love the content. So Pete, thank you very much. We'll see you in spot number 10. Hopefully you get a nice Vladdy rookie auto. If not, hopefully you at least get a Vladdy rookie. There's Luisa Rice who we're sleeping up all day long. Uh, what else do we have? There's Michael Brantley, Chris Bryant. And the last one is Shelby Miller. Let's see who Chris has in his update box topper. 1984, it's going to be Machado. A Manny Machado, 1984, blowing a bubble right there. One of one, you can send an email to my Yahoo account. I'll probably see that. Um, I should see that, actually. As Heather and I have been working on Patreon stuff all day, so I've been in checking out people's addresses and emailing people like, hey, you sent me a PayPal payment. There's no address on it. Can you please let me know where to send your cards? I had to do that a bunch of times, so... I did not see that. I ha I don't have cable, so I usually have to go back after the game is done a couple hours later and watch everything. So I haven't seen Derek Shelton get ejected yet. <laughs> I'll go and look at it. It'll be interesting to see for sure. Let's see. There's Pete Alonso, rookie debut. We have Derek Dietrich. And I do see a blue coming up. 
unfortunately, it's one of those dumb team cards. I, I just don't like these team cards that much. I feel like it's, a, like it's almost a wasted spot. It's out of 50, 8 of 50. Alex Bregman. How about a George Foster auto? Part of the big red machine right there. George Foster, what he once hit, what, 52 home runs in a season? That's a great auto right there. Cosmic Clouds, a.k.a. Matthew Fitzham. If you love the Reds, that's a great one. It is numbered out of 25, 13 of 25. Very nice one. One of the, That's hands down the best autograph so far out of this case. There's Vladdy Guerrero Jr. So unfortunately for Pete, that means there will be no Vladimir Guerrero Jr. auto in your spot because there's only one auto per box. But you never know. Maybe you'll get... Um, have we found the relic yet? I don't know if we found the, the relic yet. Mookie Betts is the last one right there. Let's see what we have now. In this spot, you got Ichiro in your silver. Thyro Estrada, Keston here, rookie card, and Brendan Rogers. So that wraps it up for your first pack. Let me go ahead and get these all taken care of. Spot 45 coming up for Cosmic Clouds. Elliot says, did my what, did my super chat go through? I don't think it did, actually, unfortunately. I really appreciate you trying, though. Let's see what Cosmic Clouds can find. In his next spot, already found the auto, the Foster. Let's see if you can find another little bonus in here. Michael Chavis, rookie guard. How's the weather in PA? It's very, very hot. It's been so hot the past month. I haven't cut my grass since June. And uh, I don't have like a big thicket of grass out there. It's up to my knees or anything like that. It literally looks like it hasn't grown in about a month because it's like 90 degrees every day. It's all dried out and dead. So it's been very, very hot. There's Jose Abreu. That one is out of 2019 we have a 61 billy williams that's a great looking card iconic card i love the 61 set that's another great set we're going to be doing uh throwback thursdays of some old stuff we'll do 61 eventually we're doing 1960 this week and let's see we have carter key boom rookie card we'll get that one sleeved up for you matthew and that's uh Tatis, Fernando Tatis, rookie debut rookie card is your last one. One of the top rookie cards that you could find in 2019 releases. We'll be looking for his cards in 2019 archives coming up in uh, about one more box. Let's see what Matthew has in spot number 46. Uh, Jeff says, the last unopened vending box, 500 cards of 60 tops, was BBCI certified and auctioned off for... $19,200. It had Series 2 and 3 included. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we're not doing that. It's going to be way too much. Uh, 500 cards for $20,000. That would be what, Heather? Like $40 per card? Um, we're going to be doing it. Hopefully, I can get it done for, I don't know what it's going to be, Heather, like less than $100 for a few, uh, for like a pack of cards. And a $50 super chat from Wayne. Wayne Crawford, very generous super chat, says, Hey, Eric. Thank you very much, Wayne. Hopefully you're having a great Sunday. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Wayne's channel. Wayne was the one that found the Ricky Henderson rookie card that broke the internet a couple months ago. That was a fun one for sure. I really appreciate that, Wayne. Thank you very, very much. Check his channel out. And Larry Joe says, Jabs, dude, haven't been in any breaks lately, but I still watch all your videos. You rock, dude. Take care. Larry Joe, thank you very much. I was just thinking about you today, cleaning out some of the uh, older breaks i got one on the shelf for you that i'm going to be sending out uh early this coming week decided to um really hit it hard this weekend getting all of the shelves cleaned off so uh that'll be coming out thank you very much i really appreciate that support nick senzel rookie very nice out of 150 game used uh blue i wonder what this is what red uniform was that dark navy blue color i'm wondering if that's I don't know, a minor league uniform. I'm not exactly sure. The LA Collection says, love this product. Great action shots. Yeah, the 2019 update set is an awesome set. Um, I would definitely recommend if you haven't grabbed a box of these and just thrown it in your closet, go ahead and do that with all the great rookies. Yeah, how about Shane Bieber striking out 14 batters in six innings? He was on fire. Shane Bieber, uh, that's one that... Um, 
I don't know. He has a couple more starts like that. You may want to go out and start grabbing his rookie cards up by the bunch if you can. Tony's up right now in spot number 47. Indians um, also at least raising my eyebrow because I heard that they refused to wear their Cleveland Indians jersey. They refused to wear their home jerseys that say Indians across the front and instead opted to go with their road jerseys in their first home game that say Cleveland. So that kind of raised my eyebrow a little bit. Makes me think that a name change may be imminent. And Jeremy Frizzle says, hello, Patreon members and Eric. Jeremy, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a very nice Sunday as well. There's Kevin Biggio. So um, if you have Cleveland Indian gear, maybe sell it right now because it's going to be uh, probably coming, forthcoming very soon. I bet as soon as the season ends, they're now probably going to be referred to as the Cleveland Spiders, which was how they were referred to way back uh, like 100 years ago. Here's a gold card of Cattell Marte. You had a great season last year. Kyle Bearclaw, Doc Gooden, 1984 design. They wore Indians today, says Scott H. Well, they're back to that. That's good, Pete Alonso. But that is something that probably is going to be coming, I would imagine, uh, unfortunately, because their ownership said they are open to it. There's Pete Alonso, all-star game rookie card, and Austin Riley, and 2,000 RBI card of Pujols. So that's Tony's first pack. He also has a second pack coming up here. Spot number 48. Best pull from 2019 is the gold Senzel card. We pulled that one tonight. Uh, probably the best auto was the George Foster auto out of 25. And the best base card was that super short print of um, Cole Tucker. Brent's card says, am I still showing as a Patreon member on the page? What? Um, you have to let me know what exactly tier you're on and also how your name is listed on Patreon. I could look you up on the... They have something called a Relationship Manager. I can type in your name and see exactly um, if you are still on there or not. There's Dan Vogelback out of 2019. Tom Browning, Matt Beatty, Roy Halliday. Mr. K, she is here. She stepped out of the room for a moment, but she'll be back. Melky Cabrera. Carter Keyboom, rookie card is a nice one. Samuel says, great job and an example to all of us to follow. Samuel, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you are also having a great Sunday, and thanks for the support of the channel. Tatis and Guerrero going in the sleeve pile for Tony. Very nice. Dylan says, what do you guys think about Verlander being out for the season? Supposedly there's conflicting reports. Verlander said he's not going to be out for the, the uh, season. He's refuting that report. So we'll see. He's going to be out for at least a couple weeks. Uh, I think the Astros will still make the playoffs with 16 teams in there, but without uh, without Verlander and Garrett Cole as that amazing one-two punch, they're going to be uh, very weakened. So we'll see what happens. I know lots of you are rooting against the Astros, and I do not blame you at all. Let's see what we can find now for Albert. Looking for the good rookie cards. There's a Bruce Suter. How about a Pete Alonso rainbow? That's a nice one. Pete Alonso rookie debut rainbow. Probably like a $15, $20 card right now, I would imagine. Uh, there's Clayton Richard and Oda Rizzi. And Bregman. Let's finish off your pack. Amir Garrett. Chatham, how's it going? Jose Abreu. And then that's going to do it for Albert's pack. We've got one pack left from box number, what are we on right now? Box number five. And then there's one more jumbo, and then it's time to do the archives. Pete, here we go. Pete was in here earlier. I'm sure he's still watching. Um, Sexton Knife Works says, I don't want to work. I just want to bang on these drums all day. Quote, <laughs> say Altuve. When I saw that quote scroll by, I thought you were talking about John Adams. Well, that's what he likes to do all day. I wonder what he's doing. John Adams is the fan that's been going to Cleveland Indians games since like the 70s and bringing a big drum and sitting up in the left field bleachers and banging on it. Anytime a, an Indians runner gets into scoring position, he just starts banging on that drum. <laughs> And uh, I wonder if he's outside the ballpark banging on that drum still. That's out of 99. Matt Chapman 
vintage stock card. A nice pull right there. Those vintage stock cards are pretty good. They usually go for at least 10 bucks. There's a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card. So you did get a Vladdy. You got his rookie debut. There's Nick Senzel, rookie card, which is a nice one for Pete. Uh, let's see if you have any other good cards in your last five, six, seven cards or so. Mookie Betts, Real Muto, and J.D. Hammer rookie card. So that's going to do it for box number five. Pete, congrats on the vintage stock. That's the best card in your pack, believe it or not. It even beats out the Vladdy rookie card because out of 99, set builders will pay for that card. So here we go. Last box of update, and then we have a case of archives to do. Hey, Heather's back. They were asking where you were. We got John and Thomas and Sean. We're going to lay out all the folks in this break, then divvy up the silver packs. All right, there's all the folks in this break. Here we go. Junkyard said Otani didn't record a single out pitching today. Ouch. Yeah, Otani with some rust. Has not pitched since 2018. Had Tommy John surgery. Didn't pitch at all last year. Just hit. Did pretty well hitting, so... At least he has that going for him. He could always still swing the lumber. Tom says, looking for a polar bear for my second break. All right, so Tom, best of luck. Looking for Pete Alonso, spot number two. Let's get that first pack and see what we can find. Johnny says, I have jabs live in the background while I set break upper deck 2008. That's awesome. I, I hear that from time to time, people sorting through cards or building sets have the live stream on in the background listening in. All right, so let's divide up. The silver pack goes to number 10. That's Ryan. We go by that significant digit. Zero, that makes Ryan the winner of that one. Chris Paddock is going to give the second silver pack to number three, which is Sean. And the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, which is for John A., is going to give the box topper to John A., as it is the first card in the set. We'll get that one sleeved up. And, John, you also get this box topper from 84. We'll get everyone else's names off to the sides for now, and we will revisit them once their packs come up. So here we go. Let's check out the rest of John A's pack, looking for or looking for Yankees cards since he is a huge Yankee fan. There's DJ LeMayhew. Brian Reynolds will get sleeved up for you. Uh, what was he, like third or fourth in the Rookie of the Year voting? There's the man, Shane Bieber, All-Star Game MVP last year. He might be one to keep an eye on with his 14 Ks and six innings. Uh, his strikeout numbers last year were, were really, really impressive. So he is going to be, it looks like, a, a top-notch strikeout pitcher in his career. QC Car Breaks says, appreciate all your content and knowledge. Also, a shout-out to Clay. That's Daddy Daughter for posting all the links. Always trying to build, so would appreciate any love. QC Car Breaks, thank you very much. I hope you will check out QC Car Breaks, everybody. Uh, Daddy, daughter, or Heather, if you drop the links in there, we'll let you know when those come up and you can head on over there. There's a Belly Bombs out of 2019. We got a, a Red Sheen Dins right there. 52 iconic card. Daddy, daughter, beat you, Heather. Heather was looking for it. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, Heather's looking for Daddy, daughter. I got you. Chris Paddock. Glaber. So check out QC. Daddy Daughter just dropped the link in there, and Heather is looking for Daddy Daughter. And there's Daddy Daughter's link, trying to get him to 700 subscribers. It's going to be there very soon. Let's check out John's 1984 box topper. It unfortunately is not a Yankee. It's Yusei Kikuchi, who I really got tired of seeing his card in 2019 just because he was... I don't want to call him a bust, but he was a big underperformer. A lot of people were expecting big things out of him coming over from Japan. And uh, he did not deliver with his uh, plus five plus earned run average. All right. Uh, Charlie says Ken Giles got hurt today. Hopefully he's going to be all right. We'll see. I'll have to check that out. Kikuchi at 98 miles an hour today? That's impressive. I, I didn't know you could. I thought he usually sat around like 92, 93. Let's see what we've got coming up for Thomas. You're going to have a manufactured hit. Hey, Kevin Biggio, rainbow rookie card is a nice one. Rookie debut. Congrats on that one. Here it is. It's Carlos Correa, commemorative patch. Pete Alonso. Nice one right there. Larry, I think that Verlander said uh, hold the horses on that one. I know there's a report out that he's going to be done for the season. I read the same thing before I went live. But we shall see. Uh, he's going to try to make it back. 
Usually, with something like a, a forearm strain, it's uh, usually bad news. Typically, you see those guys either being shut down for the season or they try, like, uh, doing some platelet-rich um, injections into their elbow. Trying to get through, but we'll see. All right, Sean, spot number 53. Let's see what we can do for you. You have a silver pack. For Sean, Sean also has pack 54. Uh, Caden, who went out to Vintage, um, Triple Play Vintage, said the Vintage store was amazing and your select box was loaded. Yeah, they have everything. They've got old, they've got new, they've got old wax boxes, and there's a whole host of those wax boxes for $7 a piece. So, yeah, I bought all of their wax boxes, but don't, like, get mad at me because I'm sending, I'm going to be sending them off to Patreon members, and he's got a whole bunch more in the back. And uh, he has 6,000 more that he is uh, working on, like, uh, getting to, into the store. So it's not like I bought the entire supply and they're not going to restock. Pete Alonso, 84. There's a whole bunch more on the way to triple play. Uh, they told me his, I got there, like, 11.15 or something, 11.30. And some guy, right before I got there, he got it right in there opening at 11 o'clock and bought 30 boxes. Let's see what else we have. There's Matt Chapman. And we have Luis Arise. A rookie card. And that's going to do it for Sean's jumbo pack. But he's got a silver pack. Let's see what he has in there in spot number 53. We've got a Keston here, a rookie card. Brendan Rogers, Acuna Jr., and Chris Paddock. So I'm a little disappointed with the silver packs producing zero autographs so far. I was hoping that one of them would have an auto. We have one more shot and spot number 60, Ryan has a silver pack that he won as we divvied those up at the beginning of the box. So we'll see what we have. Spot number 60 before getting into the archives. Here's Sean, spot 54. Keston Hira, rookie card. A nice one right there. Nick Senzel. Uh, Michael Chavis, rookie. What else do we have? There's a rainbow of Merrill Kelly. Uh, Hype is here, says that Kluber only went one inning today. You got the autograph, Sean. Trent Thornton, I saw that. Shoulder issues for the Clue bot. He's, uh, you know, he's getting up there in age, starting to break down a little bit. Carter Keyboom, rookie debut is a nice one. Porcello got torched for six earned runs today, said somebody in the chat. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's, I don't know, Porcello I always thought was average at best, even though he did win a Cy Young a few years ago, beating Justin Verlander. Um, I don't know, I always thought he was kind of an average pitcher. So, Sean, you're in the books. 55 is going to go to Brian. Let's see what we can find for you and grab the next pack out of here. Cody W. with a $2 Super Chat. Cody, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. hope you guys will check out Cody's channel. As we check out Brian's pack right now on Cards and Comics with a $10 Super Chat. Cards and Comics. Thanks, man. Uh, Heather, could, could you please drop Cards and Comics in there? I, I think he was in here earlier. Check his channel out, Heather. How many subscribers do they have? Sounds like a great... If that's a channel, that sounds like a great uh, channel, Cards and Comics. I know there's a lot of card stores out there that specialize in both of those. Heather and I tried to go to a card store in West Virginia that was uh, specializing in that. And they were actually closed. I think they were coins, cards, and comics. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there. Check them out. Do they have any content, Heather? Heather has not found it yet. Daddy Daughter's got the link. If you click on it, it'll take you right there. He is pretty darn quick tonight. Mike Trout, Bogarts, and James McKeon is the last one. John says Acuna is struggling this year, only hitting 091. 091, that's one for 11. So he's only had 11 at-bats. Uh... Heather says that Cards and Comics do have videos, so make sure you check them out. 16. 16 subscribers. Help them out. There's Cards and Comics. Heather's looking at your channel right now. Said you do have videos. You have 16 subscribers. Check them out, everybody. Daddy Daughter got the link up there as we look at Joe's. How are the Bucks doing so far? They're one and two. They played a close game on opening day. Lost, uh, what was it, five to four. There's Kevin Biggio, rookie card. They got blown out yesterday, and they uh, won today, so... They're one and two. I expect them to probably be around a 350 winning percentage down near the bottom once it's all said and done. Their pitching staff pretty much stinks, and their roster looks like a triple A roster to me. 
There's Michael Brantley. We have Mookie Betts. Very nice. Joe, congrats on the Mookie Betts game used jersey. Nice hit right there. And uh, is that the last hit from this case? It might be. Uh, I think we did have the autograph already two uh, boxes ago. What was that? Trent Thornton. Let's Luis Arise. Rookie card is a nice one. What's the address of the vintage store in Ohio? Check out my video. It's What did I call it again? I can't remember, but I, I posted like a week ago. And there's a bunch of like old wax boxes in the thumbnail. So check that out. I hold up the um, business card when I'm doing the recap. So you can check that out for the address. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Joe, here we go again. How about this? Schultz's card says, Hey, Jabs, I got married this week and I hit 250 subscribers. Still a chance for people to get in for the Dominguez Basin Blaster box. That's awesome. Congratulations. Getting married. That's awesome. Hopefully, you're able to have your loved ones in attendance. I don't know what the rules are in your jurisdiction. Around here, I think people aren't allowed to have gatherings of more than, uh, is, it, is it like 25? I don't know, 50? I don't know. It changes like every week, so I, know, I don't know. Our governor really can't make up his mind on certain things. There's Pete Alonso, rookie debut. Um, Mark Reynolds. Hey, there's a free <laughs> wedding gift link from Daddy Daughter if you'd like to check them out. Yeah, congrats on that. There's Josh Van Meter. It's out of 2019. What is my favorite card shop? I love Triple Play Vintage. That uh, That's a leader. I'll tell you what, I, I would really love to get out and see a bunch of card stores over the next, um, I don't know, few months. And every like any place within like five hours of me just going around all these different card stores because there's some out there that just are so awesome, so uh, nostalgic of some of the card stores that I used to visit as a kid. There's Michael Chavis. Sometimes you just walk into a card store, you get that whiff of old cardboard. There's Michael Chavis reminds you. Uh, Miguel Cabrera of when you were a kid. Uh, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. And then you can hang out like the, all the owners. Sometimes they get a little bored in there and they, they love talking baseball cards. We went to another card store um, after Triple Play on Friday and the owners talked shop with us for a long time. Uh, really awesome dude. So we'll bring that video. You'll see all of that stuff. You. I asked him if we could film in there, and he was uh, very appreciative of giving the opportunity to showcase his card store. He's been in business 19 years, and uh, we'll show you his store as well. I think I spent uh, spent 360 in his store and spent 640 at Triple Play Vintage, so thousand dollars on Friday for card stores uh, out in Ohio, and I wish I could have spent more, but. Uh, uh, they were amazing, amazing things in those card stores. We'll bring you that video probably sometime next week. I have to like sit down and edit it and everything. Maybe try to figure out a way to show you all the stuff that I picked up, which is mostly wax boxes. Lots of 89 score wax boxes for only $7 a piece. And uh, wax boxes are not expensive anymore. I'll, I feel like I pay like I, I have to buy these wax boxes every month for Patreon memberships that have the $50 tier, they get a, a, a old wax box sent them every month and uh, what like some wax packs, or not wax packs, but newer packs. I think it's four or five wax packs or newer packs and then a baseball all in a flat rate box. And those, uh, those boxes are not cheap. I'm always trying to find good deals on them, but can't really find old wax for under 20 bucks on eBay anymore. Here's Ryan. It's gonna finish off the break here with 59 and 60 and Schultz's card pools with a $10 Super Chat, as I meant to do a Super Chat, and no, there was an elopement, unfortunately. Uh, but people can check my content out, and thank you very much, Daddy Daughter, and thanks for the inspiration. Schultz's card pulls. Congratulations, man. I'm glad that you tied the knot and check his channel out. Again, doing that Dominguez giveaway and hitting 250 subscribers. Schultz's, thanks for being here and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. There's Kevin Biggio, rookie card. That is a nice one. Uh, what else do we have? We have a Tyler Austin rainbow. And a very nice Austin Meadows out of 67 black. That's a great card. 11 of 67. I love Austin Meadows. I say that every time I see him. Alex, are there unpaid invoices? Nope, everything's been paid. 
Um, actually, we oversold the break because I was getting a little antsy waiting around for people that hadn't paid their invoices. So I invoiced a couple extra people. So I had to refund one person for the last spot of archives, but we're all sold out. We'll be uh, having more spots, though, if you missed out on this break because uh, maybe you were busy today and missed the sign-ups. I posted this one probably about 10.30 this morning, 11 a.m., some, somewhere in there. Uh, but this is our last pack. We'll have some more opportunities. 1960 Tops this week on Thursday for Throwback Thursday. And uh, Museum Collection on Wednesday. So there'll be some fun stuff coming up for sure. Here we go, Ryan. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number 60. Last box or last pack of update. And then it's time for these bad boys. I love these hobby boxes of archives. It's been a little while since we've seen that open on the channel. So it'll be fun to go do that and look for all the good rookies in there. That one's sold by the half box. All right. So let's see what we can find out of our very last pack. There is an Aloy Jimenez, very nice, silver rookie debut, or not silver, but a rainbow. Nice one right there. We have a Key Boom rookie debut. And we're going to finish this off. Hey, 215, how's it going? Michael Chavis rookie debut. There's Freeman smiling it up. Carter Key Boom base rookie card is a good one. Puig. Donaldson and Acuna blowing a bubble, hitting a dinger in the home run derby. So let's check out Ryan's silver pack. We've opened a grand total. This is our 12th silver pack. We've yet to find an auto out of any of these silver packs, which is a bit of a downer. Let's see if this can change our luck. Shohei Otani swinging the lumber right there. Ichiro, Thyro Estrada, and Corbin Martin Purple, which unfortunately is not an autograph, but it's out of 75. So that's going to do it for... The update spots of this break. Now it's time to forge ahead into Archives. Archives is done by the half box, as you can see. Archives half box. We have Camille going to split up the first box with Liana. And uh, Camille's going to get the left side of the box. Liana will get the right side. And Cody W says, congrats to the Pirates, but go cards. Cody, thank you very much. Yeah, um, Pirates won a game, so at least... Uh, we didn't get swept. I, I'm not expecting much from the Buckos. We will have to divvy these up because, as you see, these <laughs> packs are all over the place. So there's a grand total of 24 packs. So Camille's going to get 12, and Liana's going to get 12. So let's count these out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I guess that does work out. And then these 12 will go over here for Liana. So here we go. First box. As you know, with archives, if you remember, there's two on-card autographs per box. Sometimes you get some nice old-timers in here. That's what we're hoping for. Let's start off with Camille and see what we can find for you. As you know, these feature the 1993 design, and I forget the other ones. Maybe it was 58 and 75. I'll take a look at it once we get into these. 1993 backs are very evident. Uh, Sam says, I found the address 458 miles away from Brooklyn, New York. I'm going there. <laughs> Sam, you're going to triple play. If you do, make sure you say Jab's family sent you all the way from Brooklyn. And when you do go, uh, there's another card store literally five minutes down the road. And you may just want to make a weekend of it. Here, here's, the, uh, here's what I'll tell you to do. Maybe drive in Thursday evening. Hit up Rogers Flea Market Friday morning, which is about an hour from Triple Play Vintage. That's where I found those the Mickey Mantle cards last uh, video in the flea market video. Lots of good stuff there usually. And uh, they can hit up those two card stores and you can maybe hit up Hartville Flea Market, which is also just down the road on Saturday. Um, lots of great stuff to do out in kind of like uh, East Central Ohio when it comes to baseball cards. Kind of like a little hot spot for baseball cards. And a super chat from 215 says, Hey, Eric. My mind is still blown with the Acuna pool that I had. I bought five more hobby boxes and a first off-the-line hobby box of Donruss Optic. Eric is the goat. Frankie, thank you very much. And uh, we just boxed up your cards. I think it was yesterday or the day before, so that's on the way to you, the Acuna. Uh, congrats again on that one. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. I hope that you guys will check out uh, 215's channel. Frankie, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, Daddy Dollar says 215 
Uh, he's never located a channel for you. If you want to drop him the link directly, he will get it up there for you so people can easily find your channel. Looks like we have a junior. This is the Tatis Jr., I do believe. Yep, rookie card, Tatis Jr. I love that card. Very, very nice looking card right there. We have a Jorge Polanco. Kyle Wright, Johnny Bench looking for the autographs. Two autographs per box. Juan Soto. And you got the first one, Camille. Congratulations. I was a little nervous for you. Last time we had a box that was divvied up with Camille, she actually ended up walking away with no autos as the other half of the box had both autos. But Camille gets one here. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. 1969 style card on card auto. Beautiful looking card right there. Andres Galarraga, as you remember, was a star back in the late 80s, early 90s. And Dave Pence says, Jabs, here's an idea for Throwback Thursday. Open some box of 06 Tops Walmart and look for the Alex Gordon rookie card that should not be. I found one years ago. Dave, thank you very much. That's a very valuable card, that Alex Gordon, Pete Alonso rookie card. That is a good idea. The uh, Alex Gordon. Uh, Junkard says, Galarraga hit one of the longest home runs I've ever seen. Was that that home run down in Marlins Park or whatever it was called, Joe Robbie Stadium? There's a Mike Trout. Very nice one right there. We'll get that one sleeved up. Yeah, that ball like never landed down there in Joe Robbie or Pro Player Stadium. They concerns about uh, the virus. Oichiro, Brandon Nimmo, Cole Tucker, rookie card, and Willie Adame. So, Camille, congratulations on the big cat. Andres Galarraga, rookie card, and the Tatis Jr. And a couple Pete Alonso's in there as well. Camille leading the league in Pete Alonso's pulled today. Probably has pulled like six of them. So now we move on to the other half of the box. Um, the card kid. You can call me either of those. It doesn't matter to me. Just uh, if you call me Eric, it's with a K, not a C. Sometimes I get offended by that, but I understand that people make mistakes. Here we go with Lyanna's stack. There will be an autograph in here. I am thinking it might be... Who do you think, Heather? Who's the autograph going to be? Javier says, how do I participate in the live break? Where do I go? You go to my Patreon page. Name on one of these nifty little cards. There's Daddy Daughter with the link right there. William says Tim Wallach is his guess for the auto. All right, so Daddy Daughter said the sound went out, but it's back. Sorry about that. Sometimes YouTube can be a little glitchy. Stemmers Hits is here. What's up, Stemmers? How is it going? Let's check out Liana's side of the box right now, looking for the auto. Am I having bad weather? Not having bad weather, but there's a Mike Sweeney autograph right there. Fan favorites, Mike Sweeney. Very, very nice. That's the second hit. Not worth a ton of money, unfortunately, but uh, here we go. There's Tuki Toussaint. George says this is his favorite set. There's a nice Sammy Sosa 93. I love the 93 set. There's Ichiro, who's they have his uh, whole... What what would cardography in here? What would you call that, Heather? He's got every one of his cards is in here. Cardography, not like a discography for like a, a band, but a cardography of each year. Keston here, a rookie card. Might have just made up a word. I'm not sure. Randy Johnson, the big unit in his Expos Uni. We have Hannes Wagner in here. Did I catch any of the Pirates games? There's a nice Michael Gibbons. That is numbered out of 99, 42 of 99. All right, so, Lionel, let's check out the rest of your pack. We got your hit, but let's check out and see if we can find a Pete Alonso or a Tatis. There's Luis Arias. Corey Kluber, there's a nice Ozzy Alves. Misses his rookie card by one year. Rowdy Telez, whose autos are all throughout 2019 so we'll see if we find one of his cards Kenneth thank you very much for the kind words Max Scherzer Matt Olson Harper McCovey and Connor GM says what's happening to top prospects to assist their development in the minors if there's no minor league baseball well they are having alternate training sites and they are sent down there to train 
uh, slash, I guess, playing pickup games or whatever, intra-squad games. It's really unfortunate there's no minor league baseball this year. So John is up next. John has got the left side of the box, and Jack has the right side of this next box. Best of luck to you guys. Mikey says, favorite DMB album. Best album? I'm going to have to go with Before These Crowded Streets, the 1998 album was their masterpiece and uh very close second is under the table and dreaming which was the uh, 94 album that started it all for them all right so john let's see what we have one two three four five six let's see if you have six on this side as well one two three four five six yep six and six all right let's see Two and five says, Eric, do you think Optic was the best release? I definitely think it was. Optic was pretty darn good. I'll tell you that. Optic was a great one. Jonna M, let's see what we can find for you. Hopefully the autographs are evenly distributed throughout all these boxes. Would love to see everybody get, you know, one each. Would be fair. And it's not always doesn't always work out that way. What's my favorite band? Asked Cincy Red. It's the Dave Matthews Band. Stemmer's Hits is 311. I remember them. What was your favorite band, Heather? Heather says she doesn't have a favorite. She just likes music in general. That's right, Dave Penn. The P.O. Box 402 is still in operation. I always have my eBay purchases sent there. How expensive are hot corner boxes? Well, if you pick them up at the retail location at Target, they're $14.99. If you buy them on eBay, they're like $30 because people jack the prices up because of the chances of finding some of the more desirable packs. All right, Jonathan is up right now. Jonathan, let's see what we can find for you. Looking out for autographs. Typically, the autos, as you have seen, are old players. We got a Sweeney and Galarag in our first box. There's a Keston here, a rookie card, which we'll get sleeved up a hey, steve rogers auto lots of expos whenever this was on sale back in august of last year the expos were always the most expensive team just because they are uh littered throughout here they've littered this release with expos autos and there's an aloy jimenez rookie card we'll probably see a couple more of them actually as well and there's an ichiro george brett Steve Rogers was actually pretty good. Yeah, he was. There's a Pete Alonso purple. That's a nice hit. Numbered out of 175. That's a good one for sure. Pete Alonso, anytime you can find a parallel of a good rookie, uh, you are in luck. So I'd say, I don't know, 25 bucks on that Pete Alonso is my guess. Might be low. A 175. There's a Yusei Kikuchi rookie card. Ty Cobb, Kyle Wright. Johnny says he misses the Expos. Kevin Tappany is the autograph. So Jonathan gets both autographs. 1992 Kevin Tappany from the Minnesota Twins. So you get two pitcher autos there. And um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Kevin Biggio. So Jack is probably thinking, dang it, uh, I got the wrong side of the box. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get a nice parallel. Or maybe you'll get a case hit. I think there's those Toss Magazine case hit autos. Not sure if that would count against the autos or not. Stemmer says, did you know the MLB has suspended all possible records, such as the batting title, batting over 400 because this is only a 60-game season? I didn't hear that. Um, well, if you hit 400, if it says it on the back of your baseball card, I'll still give you credit for it. I'm sure a lot of um, stat geeks would say that as well. Oh, I, I don't know if they're doing that or not. I don't think they would. The rule of thumb is 3.1 plate appearances per team game. So as long as they appear in 180-plus, uh, whatever it works out to, at-bats, and they hit 400, it counts in my book. That's always been the rule, so I'm sure there'll be some people that say, well... Last person to hit 400 in a full season. We'll see if that happens. I don't know if anyone's going to hit 400 or not this year. If you think about last year at 60 games, 
Was anybody hitting 400? I don't think so. There might have been some guys up around 360 or so, but Tony Gwynn almost did it in 94. That's right. All right, so Jack, here we go. Let's check out your side of the box. Got a Babe Ruth 93 top style card in there. Vladdy Jr., 2019 rookie. That's the 93 tops design. Most people are familiar with that design from the Derek Jeter rookie card from Top Series 1. Austin Riley rookie card. There's Scherzer. Found his Topps Gold rookie card last throwback Thursday. That was a huge pull. Could not believe a Max Scherzer Gold rookie card in our 2008 Topps update box. Very unexpected and very, very valuable. As we go through, there's Kluber. If someone breaks a home run record this year, it counts. No one's going to be breaking 73 home runs this year, I can tell you that much. Maybe some, you know, some rate record, such as home at-bats per home runs or something like that. There's Cliff Floyd, 69-style card. Johnny Bench, Eddie Murray. Mo Rivera's in there. There's that Sosa again. And Nick Senzel, 94-style card. I don't know why they used the 1994 Future Star card design in there when they're supposed to be doing 93 cards. Eh, I don't know. They have that nice 1993 Future Star design in Series 2 of 93 tops. I don't know why they just didn't stay with that. Just think of the Jim Edmonds rookie card. And John A. says each year one hit four fifty once hit 450 over a 60-game stretch. That would be pretty interesting. What's the all-time record for batting average in a season? Like 432 or something like that? As we split up the next box, Brian and Chris. Let's see what we can find for you guys in our third box of archives. So let's just make sure each person has 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Brian's good to go. That means there's 12 over here for Chris. Let's get to ripping these. Hugh Duffy, 440, says Daddy Daughter. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to be hitting 440 this year, but like um, John said, Ichiro had a stretch where he did it. Phil Gosselin's going to do it. All right, Brian's up right now. Spot number 5 of 20. There's 10 boxes in a case of archives. You can pick up a case of these on eBay. It's going to cost you about $1,400. They're about twelve fifty, and then you factor in shipping and taxes, about fourteen hundred. People always ask what I sold these for. I sold these for sixty-five dollars per half box, which works out to about one hundred thirty a box. That doesn't include all the fees that come out either. I, I take the hit on the fees and the shipping. All right, Brian, let's see what we can find now. Eric says Rio Ruiz is the best player in the MLB. I've got to start looking at my stat leaders because. Um, after before too long, whoever's the hot player after about 10 games, I might think about start picking up some of their rookies. A lot of prospectors out there in the hobby are going to be doing the same thing, though. So if, um, I don't know, if Kyle Lewis continues staying hot, his rookie cards are really going to be skyrocketing in his autos. There's Ramon Laureano. That one's going to be numbered. Out of 25, 9 of 25, nice Laureano. I know a mess of things who may not be in here anymore because he's working. I uh, love that one. Wildcat is here. It's going pretty well. We are two hours into the break. Probably have another 45 minutes left. Rowdy Telez. Best autograph. There's one. Joe Pepitone, 1960 Tops design. We'll be breaking 1960 Tops on Throwback Thursday live, so don't miss that one. That'll be fun. Brian Z gets the Pepitone. Uh, best auto so far for my money is uh, out of this case has been the Andres Galarraga, just because I, I liked the big cat growing up. And there's Daddy Daughter with the link to... My Patreon page, if you'd like to sign up. There's the Laureano base card. We'll see if Brian gets the second auto as well. Uh, we'll see if you guys divide it up evenly or not. Some big names are stumbling out of the gate this season. Brian is 1 for 14. Acuna 1 for 12. Judge 2 for 12. Yelich 1 for 13 says Aramis. Yeah, that's the way it goes with small sample size. How about a Tim Raines Hall of Fame auto right there? Tim Raines... Brian, you got both autos, and Tim Raines kind enough 
to make sure the autograph is legible. If he would have put it over his jersey, you wouldn't even be able to see it. So Tim Raines knows what's up. Very nice. Hall of Famer, Rock Reigns for Brian. Congratulations. You got Pepitone and Reigns autographs out of your side of the box. Ken Hill, sweet pitcher there back in the early 90s. Darn good curveball. Ichiro 2007. Congrats on that, Brian. Nice Kopech, Liri, um, Lariano, and two autos. Daddy Dar says that's a couple good autograph hits right there for Brian. Let's see if uh, Chris has any autos. Well, here we go. Spot number six. Dansby Swanson, two-run home run, says John. is hitting 500. Kyle Lewis has two home runs already. Yeah, it's going to be a short season. If Kyle Lewis ends up leading the league in home runs with, like, I don't know, 15, look out for his cards to go off the uh, charts, even though it's a shortened season. I don't know, but what do you think is going to be the home run number this year that tops the league? 15 would be roughly equivalent to about 42 to 45 home runs or so in a regular season. I don't know, some of them may hit 20. Junkyard Break says 21. 35 says Stummer says that's um, equivalent to, you got to figure 60 games is about 30, what, 35, 37% of the season. So 35 home runs would be equivalent to like 90 home runs or 88 home runs. I think that's going to be a little high. I would say at the most, right around 20 is going to do it. Let's see what Chris has in his stack. Ryan Barucki, Mookie Betts. You never know who's going to get hot, though. Somebody could have a nice start to the season. Joey Votto's on pace for 40. I hope Votto does a, a good job this year. Ryan Sandberg mini card. Love the minis. There's the back of it, 1975 style design. There's our boy Cedric Mullins. You got a Vladdy Jr. rookie card. Nice one right there. Nick Senzel. Justin Smoke is going to be numbered out of 175. Get that one sleeved up. Kevin Biggio. So Chris is hitting a lot of the good rookies in his side, even though all the autographs have been taken by Brian. Michael Kopek rookie card. Nick says that Votto is choking up on the bat, and it's working for him. So that's good. Get a little more bat speed out of it, shortening up his swing. All right, Chris, you got McCutcheon leading things off in your second half there. Chavis rookie card is a decent one. Markakis, Blake Trinan. There's Reese Hoskins, Ryan Sandberg, Brandon Lau. There's Andres Galarraga without the autograph. Saw that card earlier with the auto. Aloy Jimenez, another good rookie. There's our boy Ryan O'Hearn. Nolan Ryan, Aloy Jimenez again, which is a great rookie. And Chris, that'll do it for your side of the box. Forging on ahead now to spot number seven and eight. We got John A. looking for Yankee stars. I'm sure he would have liked the Pepitone. And Alex has number eight. Next box off the shelf. Let's see what we can find for you. Uh, Joe, we did our case of Tops update already. That's in the books. If you'd like to watch that, you can watch it on the replay. Usually goes up, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. It has to process after we, we finish up here. Let's check these packs out. Make sure you got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So one of your packs slid over, 12. And just for quality assurance purposes, we'll make sure Alex has the same number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 and 12. Good to go. 2009, Raul Ibanez launched 22 homers in the first 60 games, says Ryan. I did not know that. Hot start for Ibanez. All right, John A is up right now looking for Yankees. Let's see if we can find you one. Mike says Cruz is on pace for 90 home runs yet. Well, three home runs in three games. He would be on pace for 60 home runs, right? That's usually the way it goes. Um, somebody hit two home runs on opening day, and then everybody's like, oh, so-and-so is on pace for... What is it, Heather? What's 162 times 2? 324 home runs or whatever. So, John, here we go. Spot number 7. Sexton Knives wants a Chris Sabo auto. 
Bless you, is that a sneeze? Here we go, John, spot number seven. Let's get these wrappers out of the way as so they're kind of in my way. Looking for the autos, lots of old timer autos in archives and some new timers, some stars here and there. There's Glaber for you. Johnny Mize, Chance Adams, who's a former Yankee. There's a Vidro. No auto on that one, though. I think I, I'm good with that. I don't know if I would be super pumped about a Jose Vidro autograph. There's Michael Kopech. Wildcat says, hi, Heather. She just waved back with card in hand as she's sleeving. There we go. Rick Honeycutt is the hit. 1990 Topps Design Rick Honeycutt. You okay? Heather's got a cough. She's going to step out of the room. Uh... Andrew McCutcheon, so there's the Ichiro, Rick Honeycutt. Yeah, kind of a meh auto for sure, only worth a buck or two. Not a big name, unfortunately. But if you're an A's fan, you would like that card. There's a nice Ripken Jr. Magazine card. <laughs> Aaron says Otani cards are going on a fire sale today on eBay after his terrible outing. It's only one game. What if Otani comes back next game and pitches a six-hit gem Two hits given up. Senzel. A bunch of Ks. We'll see. Kevin Biggio. So John's got a honey cut. Let's see if he has a second auto or if that auto is going to be saved for Alex. Uh, Shohei Otani. There he is. Magazine card. Laureano. Rookie. Kopech rookie. And uh, there's Lou Gehrig, the iron horse for John and Steve Carlton. So... John's got a Rick Honeycutt auto, and it looks like Alex is going to have it. Thank you, Heather. Heather just delivered me a delicious bottle of water. I think I'll take that right now. Someone just asked me, what are the worst breaks or worst boxes to avoid because of the brickiness of them? The cards that break up? Avoid anything from the late 90s. Uh, early 2000s, uh, I know that like 93 upper deck is awful for bricking cards. Uh, and 2001 tops is also terrible. I would say just uh, early stadium club sometimes, yeah. A lot of those cards from the mid to late 90s, early 2000s, they all stick together. And uh, when that happens, it's an absolute... What, what's, what word should I say, Heather? Nightmare that would be appropriate in PG. All right, Alex, you do have an autograph coming up. Let's hopefully hope that it's better. <laughs> yeah, I was going to use that junkyard breaks, except I was going to use the word show instead of storm. All right, spot number eight. There will be an autograph coming your way, and Alex is hoping for a Brewer's Auto. Let's see what we can find for you. Cole Tucker rookie card. It'd be nice to find a nice Robin Yount Auto, but I don't know if he's... In, I don't think he's in this autograph set. Uh, let's see. Aloy Jimenez rookie card. There's a Tatis Jr. Nice one for sure. These boxes are still pretty affordable despite all the good rookies in here. About $130 a box or so on eBay. Maybe about $140, $150 after the shipping and taxes are put in there. But still pretty darn good. Hey, you got Pat Hughes. So it would have been much better if you had had a Bob Euchre auto as you like your Brewers. But instead you get Pat Hughes, who I don't know anything about at all. He's just a broadcaster for the Cubs. Um... Is he even an ex player? It says he's one of the most iconic voices in baseball for more than three decades. Became the first ever Cubs announcer to proclaim the words the Cubs win the World Series in 2016, yada, yada, yada. So that's the autograph, unfortunately. I was hoping for a brewer for you, but sometimes that happens. Let's see what Alex has. At least you got an auto. There's a Roger Maris Mini. Keep the Hobby Alive says, What's up, my dude? Hope you and Heather are well. Keep on being a good dude. Keep the Hobby Alive. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. 
Hunter Dozier, we are doing great here in Pennsylvania. Hope you are staying safe and doing well. Wherever you're located at, everybody, there's Tim Anderson. Thanks for the support. I hope you guys will check out Keep the Hobby Alive. There's Pete Alonso. Vladdy Guerrero Jr., a pretty darn good uh, side of the box here for rookie cards. Salty Peppers says, as a Cubs fan, that Hughes is pretty sweet in my honest opinion. I don't know much about Pat Hughes. Sometimes autos like that can be worth a lot of, like, I don't know. I know with Alan and Ginter, I'd pull, like, these autos of people I've never heard of, just, like, random celebrities, and I'd be like, oh, wow, it's a so-and-so auto. I'd be like, wow, that's, like, a $200 auto right there. Is Alex, is um, Zach Campbell in this set? No, he's in, uh, like, is it 2014 archives? I can't remember. He's in, he's in, a, he's in an archive set, but I do not remember the exact year. Joshua's got the full box right now. So full box treatment for Joshua. No dividing these up. Let's see what we can find for you. Yeah, so Yount is not on the checklist. Probably Teddy Higuera is or somebody like that. Maybe like Dan Plezak. All right, let's see what we can find for Joshua. He's got the big... Full box treatment. We'll just do three stacks and do them that way. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Keep the Hobby Alive if you want to check him out. Best of luck to you, Joshua. I'm going to get all of your stuff out tomorrow or Tuesday. I was going to send it or box it up today, but then I saw that you were in this break, so I decided to hold back. I'll have a nice big flat rate box coming your way with probably like two 500 count boxes worth of stuff. Hey, your stack is pretty big on the J shelf. See an Anduhar in here. Actually, I'll just, since we have two nameplates, I think I'll just do like half of this third pile too. Make it a little easier on Heather, who is here sleeving things up for me. William says, go for the Randy Johnson auto. Yeah, that would be a pretty sweet auto. Randy Johnson, Vladdy Jr. I don't know if Larry Walker's in this or not for the Expos. Pedro Martinez. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we've got. There's a Michael Gibbons out of 175, 154 of 175. Aaron Nola. Bo Jackson. Acuna Jr. Magazine insert card. Zaxon 2017 says Wildcat. Elo Jimenez, that'd be cool to do a uh, Zach Campbell search. I wonder how many cases we'd have to open to find that card. Hey, we have Brody Van Wagen and the general manager for the New York Mets. Former uh, agent. He used to be a player's agent, and now he's the general manager. And he put hashtag LGM, which, as you know, means let's go Mets if you're a Mets fan. So Brody Van Wagen in for Joshua. Interesting card right there. So we got a broadcaster and now a general manager. So let's uh, now let's find a nice big hit here. Sky High says, "Tell me to do a better job with these Mets tonight." Brody Van Wagenen. I wonder if Tim Tebow's still around. Is he still? Um, I wonder if he's on the alternate squad. He was in Trip Away last year, struggling mightily. There's Randy Johnson. Unfortunately, no auto on there. Pete Alonso rookie card goes in the sleeve pile. Carter Key, boom. Juan Soto, future star card. D. Gordon. There's the Keston Hira. I'd love to find a Nolan Ryan auto. That would be awesome. Victor Robles. So that's the first, first half of Joshua's box. We'll get that passed along to Heather so the pile's not too tall. Spot number 10, the halfway spot of the break. Derek says, well, these autos are bad. <laughs> Yeah, last two, not that great. I'll, I'll agree with you. But that just means that maybe we're being set up by Tops for a huge pull. At least I hope so. We'll see what comes out of this one. If I bought this box and got a Van Wagen and some, I don't know, broadcaster or umpire or something like that, I'd probably want to be too happy. So hopefully Tops realizes that. Gives us a former player here that's a recognizable name. Let's get these last two packs open and then start going through. Derek says a huge pool is incoming. 
I hope you're right. And Ike says we are being set up by Tops. Hopefully being set up for a big hit. And Daddy Daughter says, let's go, Bernard Gilkey. All right, here we go. There's your big old stack of cards. Let's see what we've got. Second auto is going to be coming somewhere in this stack of about 100 cards. So there's Aaron Judge. Uh, JoJo says, have my hands ever gotten tired from opening so many packs? Um, I think my 2019 Top Series 2. How about that? We were set up one Soto autograph. We had two completely, uh, I don't want to say garbage hits, but crappy off-the-wall non-player hits. And there it is, Juan Soto. Some of you called it. You get a couple of crap autos, and then you're set up with a big boy auto right there. One of the best players in the game, Juan Soto. Beautiful auto. Love the way he signs his cards. Let's go ahead and one-touch this bad boy, Juan Soto. Fan favorites. Very, very nice. Joshua, congratulations on that one. 1975 design. Let's get that. We have a super chat, Heather says, from John Fishman. Says, cashed out my 401k and bought 1984 Donruss Vance Law PSA 10s. You're welcome, listeners. John Fishman gave us advice earlier to pick up Pat Tabler PSA 10s, and now he's advising everybody to go on out there and pick up Vance Law 84 Donruss PSA 10s. Uh, I don't know unless Vance Law is going to have a comeback or play in the, the, I don't know, be a manager at some point. Very nice one. So we'll one-touch it for you. I do see a little bit of white on the corners, so it's not going to be a PSA 10, probably a PSA 8, but it is numbered out of 25 still. $100 on eBay. Very nice card. Uh, congrats on that one, Joshua. Let's see what else we can find for you in here. Hopefully, there'll be some rookie cards, but there's the man that we just pulled, Juan Soto, Tatis Jr. Very nice one as well. And there's John Fishman says, pumping. And I don't know what he means by that. Heather, is, is, that, is that appropriate to say? <laughs> Heather is... um. Struggling her shoulders, so buying and flipping, I guess, is what he's talking about. Uh, there is Bruce Suter. Some people like picking up PSA 10s and then um, flipping them. There's Acuna Jr. I've uh, I've picked up a few PSA 10s this past week. I'm looking for some guys that I think are oh pumping up Vance Law. I see pumping up Vance Law and then dumping them. So <laughs> trying to give some. Uh, investment advice because he's got a, a bunch of Vance Law PSA 10s. Get the price up there and then dump them. I don't know. Vance Law? I used to literally hate Vance Law as a kid. I don't know why. Um, there's just certain players that I did not like and Vance Law was on that list. My brother didn't like him either. So here we go. Bill's got the left side and Samuel has the right Let's see what we can find for you two guys. Make sure there's 12 packs on each side. Bill's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we go. 12 and 12. Uh, Daddy Daughter's got a correction here. The Juan Soto, $100 is for the base auto that's not out of 25. Out of 25, you probably can at least double that. Probably like a $200, maybe even more $300 card. A very, very nice hit there for Josh. Big hit. Congrats on that one. And uh, wise decision taking the whole box because otherwise you would have... It looks like you would have walked away with just the left side and missed out on that Soto and just went home with a Van Wagen in auto. So, Bill, here we go. Let's see what we can find from your first stack of two. Kyle Wright, Bob Feller a.k.a. Rapid Robert. There is Yvonne Rodriguez. And Brandon Calderon says, Hey, Eric, love the channel. Have you by chance sent out the Patreon package yet? Trying to track down my Bichette Auto from last month. Um, Heather recognizes your name. Brandon Calderon. Sounds very familiar. Gorman Thomas is the brewer hit. Uh, if you go into stamps on my computer, we can check all those tracking numbers. That one does, for some reason, it doesn't work on the desktop. It only tracks it like March, but my I was looking up here for somebody that asked. Gorman Thomas, autograph, 1979. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. 
Heather will look it up for you right now, Mr. Brandon Calderon. I'm pretty sure that we sent that one out to you today or yesterday. We've been hitting the uh, brakes hard trying to clear space on the shelves. There's Nate Lowe. Heather's going to pass you my computer real quick to answer your question. All right, good old stamps.com, which is what uh, I've transitioned to using from using the PayPal multi-order shipping. Stamps.com I've decided to go with as my shipping um, website of choice. You have to pay for it, but with what I do with Patreon, it saves all the addresses in there. So once Heather just starts typing a name in, the address like automatically pops up. I think if you go to uh, go right here and search his name and print history, it'll come up. So Pete Alonso, rookie card for Bill. Sorry about that delay, Bill, but Brandon, with a nice, generous super chat there, I had a question trying to get that answered for him. I, I'm pretty sure we did that one. All right, so here we go. Mr. Pico wants that Gorman Thomas with those crazy side burns. Let's see what Bill has in the second half here. You see it, Heather? In the upper left corner, I think there's a little text box where you can search everything. Just type the last name. Brian Z says, are there any Mario Mendoza autos in the set numbered to Don 199? Actually, I think Mendoza may have... He was in one of these sets. I feel like it might have been 2018. And Jacob Cheerios is here. says, I inspired him to start his own channel. That's awesome, man. There's a nice Vladdy Guerrero Jr. and Kevin Biggio. And Cliff Floyd, and it's an auto. It's really tough to see. What? Heather says it was shipped today. Do you want to read off the number for me? Do, do you want to give He wants the, the tracking number. Here's your tracking number, Brandon. It is, where is it at, Heather? Brandon Calderon, 13-ounce package, 9400-111699-000-9911878834. It's on the way. Coming to you soon. 13-ounce package. How about that one? Impossible to see Cliff Floyd. So, Brandon, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Your Boba Shet will be coming to you soon. There's Nick Senzel, rookie card. Uh, Roberto Alomar and Ichiro. So, Bill Seitz with a double auto side of the box. Congratulations on that. So, Samuel, looks like you're not going to have an autograph, but... Hopefully you'll have some good rookie cards. We'll see. We only have four boxes left, and then that will be it for today. Javier says, so after I register and pay to join, is that all I have to do to participate in a live break? You just have to be a member of my Patreon page. You have to sign up there first and get a membership. It's $3 a month, $0.10 cents a day. And then once I post, it's kind of like a blog post. I don't know if you read any blogs, but I'll have a post say sign-ups. The next one will be 2020 Museum Collection. I'll say how many uh, spots are available, how much they cost, how we're going to divvy it up, whether it be by the box, by the card, by the half box or whatever. And then if you'd like to sign up, all you have to do is leave your PayPal email address and I'll send you an invoice to try to make it easy on you. You just uh, pay that and then you get your name on one of these cards. Uh, Tilipami says, first live show ever. Thanks for all your amazing videos. Thank you very much. And Daddy Daughter says, sales are first come, first serve as Patreon. Yep. So you can be a $3, you can be $26. It doesn't matter. It's first come, first serve for everybody. And I try to get as many cases as I can. Uh, I'm trying to track down as much museum collection as I can find. I don't know if I'll be able to get enough, as many as I would like. Uh, it is a very expensive case. I think it's like $3,000 or so after tax and shipping. I can't remember. But uh, I'm trying to get some more. We'll see. 12 boxes per case in museum collection. Four hits per box. All right, so here we go, Stephen. Looking for some rookie cards for you now. There's Hank Aaron, Bob Gibson. We have Vladdy Guerrero Jr. 69 style card. There's Luis Orias. Smoltzy, there's JV, Glaber Torres, Eddie Guidel, Bat Relic, that would be insane. Yeah, he was the uh, guy that was like three feet tall. Uh, there's Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the shortest player ever to play in Major League Baseball. Uh, here we go. We've got Hideki Matsui and Lou Gehrig. You got another stack here, though, Samuel. Let's see what else can join your Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card. 
Uh, Anthony Rizzo is here. These cards are going back and forth, which I always hate it when they do that. I wish they would just stay a certain way instead of me having to keep flipping them back and forth. There's a nice Griffin Canning. That one is going to be numbered out of 99, gray border. Cole Tucker, rookie card. There's Pete Alonso, 2019 rookie. Nice one right there to go along with the Vladdy. Luis Severino, Kyle Tucker might be a big name. Doesn't get a whole lot of recognition for 2019 rookies, but Kyle Tucker, um, pretty darn good uh, production in Triple A. So we'll see what, what becomes of him in the next year or two. Here we go. Next box up. We got John and James splitting up this box. Best of luck to you two. John gets the left side and James gets the right. Make sure there's 12 packs on each side. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one of these is gonna go over here. And James, let's make sure you have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, so we're good to go. <clears throat> All right, first up, John, let's see what we can find for you. Let's rip down through these packs. Samuel says, yes, Petey, Pete Alonso rookie card. That's one of the big rookies that you're looking for. You got the Alonso and the Vladdy. Uh, Broken Cool says, does Heather not help him anymore? She is right next to me right now. And she just winked at me, so she is definitely here. She's not here all the time. Sometimes on Wednesday, she's got other stuff going on. But she's here whenever she can be here and is a huge help for sure. Kevin's card says, hey, Jabs, hope all is well. Almost to 150 subscribers. I hope everyone's having fun with baseball back now. Good luck to your teams, everybody. Kevin's cards, thank you very much. Still have over 500 people in here. If you'd like to help out Kevin's cards grow, please check them out. Daddy, daughter, Heather will hopefully find their link and drop it in there. Here we go, John. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number 13, John B. Thank you, Kevin. Good luck to the Buccas. They're going to need it. I, uh, I'm not really counting on them to be anything other than a last place team this year. Daddy Daughter's got the link for Kevin's cards if you'd like to check their channel out. I really appreciate the support. All right, so let's see. Two autographs are going to be coming out of this box. Not Javier Vasquez. There's Jose Urania, one of the many margins. Marlins, who have come down with the virus, unfortunately, as it is kind of like tearing through their team. That's got to be a, you know, a tough thing for sure. Some young players there are going to get a break. Maybe we'll see guys that we weren't expecting this year, like guys like Victor Mesa, Victor, Victor Mesa come up. I've been waiting to see those guys since I saw them in Bowman a couple years ago. There's Aloy Jimenez for John. And how about a Cal Ripken Jr. case hit auto? Tops Magazine, Cal Ripken Jr. Very nice hit. Hall of Famer right there. The Iron Man. Cal Ripken Jr. autograph. Let's get the one touch out for this one. A huge hit. John, congratulations on that one. Doomsday says that is the hit of the night. Tim Langlefell says kaboom. And Mr. K says oh, there it is. One touch this bad boy for you. Case hit. Cal Ripken Jr. goes to John. Congratulations, man. Fairyland says, jealous. That's one of his favorites. Looks like it's in great condition, too. I love his signature. Cal Ripken Jr. is one of my favorite players growing up, and it is numbered out of 50. 46 of 50 on the back. There's Ripken. So, James has to be a little little nervous now, thinking, oh, great, Cal Ripken Jr. is the first hit. That means I'm probably going to get an umpire broadcaster as my autograph if I have one. So, Cal Ripken Jr., nice one. John, very, very nice hit right there as Don Mattingly slips out of my hand. Got to get Donnie Baseball on the screen for everybody to see. Love Don Mattingly. Should be in the Hall of Fame, in my personal opinion. If he would have played a couple more years, he I think he would have been in, but had that back issue. If he could have just stuck it out, he wouldn't have been part of that Yankees dynasty in 96, 97. Well, they didn't win in 97, but they were still good. 96, 98, 99, 2000. 
John, a huge hit right there. Congrats on that one, man. So, James, you're up now. At least you have an autograph. Let's see who it is. I'm going to go ahead and guess. Hmm, who do I want to guess here, Heather? Heather says Randy Johnson from the Expos. That would be awesome. That would be quite a box. The 69 Randy Johnson card. Yeah, I'm feeling an Expos card. I'll say Ken Hill Expos. Robert's saying Tim Wallach. I'm going to go with Ken Hill. We'll see what happens. It'll probably be a Johnny Gomes auto or somebody like that. Fan favorites, Johnny Gomes. I feel like when I did this case break back in like August of last year, we pulled a few Johnny Gomes autos. Here we go. Let's see what we can find for James. Hubie Brooks says a lunchbox. All right. James is going to have an autograph. Just missed out on the Cal Ripken Jr. by one spot. Let's see who his autograph is. Michael Chavis will sh leave him up. Uh, let's see here. Chipper Jones. Duke Snyder. We've got a Bobby Durr out of 175. There's JV. Kyle Wright. Autograph coming up any second now. I'm feeling it. It's got to be coming up. Archives has never shorted us an auto. Keston here. Junkyard Break says, calling it a night. Thanks, Jabs. All if you give me a look. Let me know how I'm doing. That would be very much appreciated. Nice DJ right there. Junkyard Breaks. Thank you very much. Hope you guys will head on over there. Check him out. Let him know how he's doing. Give him some suggestions and uh, give him a subscription as well. Thank you very much. Junkyard and Daddy Daughter has got the link for you right now. There's a Vladdy Jr. Kevin Biggio always follows up Vladdy in these packs. Here comes the autograph after the Pete Alonso, at least I hope. Uh, this stack is getting kind of small. Running out of cards here. There it is. Mike Lieberthal is the hit. Uh, Mike Lieberthal signed a lot in 2019 for Tops. He was all over, all throughout the Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition. It seemed like every case had two Mike Lieberthal cards in there. Former Phillies catcher uh, for James. So at least you got an autograph, James. Only three boxes left. Let's see if anything can come close to Kyle Ripken Jr. So far, the two best pulls out of this case was the Ripken Jr. out of 50 and a Juan Soto out of 50. Next up, Phillip is going to be taking this entire box. Spots 15 and 16. Only two more boxes left after this. And then we'll be calling it a night. All right, let's see what we've got. There's the left-hand side and right-hand side. He's got all of them, so... FDC Family Cards with a $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much, FDC. Number one foam finger emoji. I appreciate the support. I hope you guys will check out FDC Family Cards channel. There's Daddy Daughter with the links. FDC Family Cards is approved. All right, Philip. let's see what we can find. I just sent a lot of your breaks out today also. End of the month, busy time around here, for sure, trying to get everything out. All right, so, two more packs, and we'll start searching for your autographs. Hopefully, you have a nice big hit in here as well. Sammy says, Jazz, are you planning to come to New York anytime soon? Would love for us to go through my collection if the opportunity ever presents itself. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm coming to New York next month. I'll be announcing that on Patreon. It'll be a little meet and greet with a major league pitcher as well. The official announcement will be on Patreon probably sometime tomorrow or the next day. I'll let you know exactly all the details. Hopefully you can uh, stop in and say hello. But here we go. There's Keston Hero, which is a nice one. Uh, Jake Bowers, rookie card, Rowdy Telez. Cards and Comics with a $5 Super Chat. Cards and Comics, thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. You guys have seen Cards and Comics in here earlier, but if you're just joining the, the uh, live stream, make sure you head over to them. They had 16 subscribers before. Heather, you want to go check them out and drop their link in there? And hopefully they picked up and at least, uh, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 subs or so, hopefully. There's Pay Dirt Sports Cards also. It says, when are you and Heather going to tie the knot? 
Uh, I don't know, you have a string, Heather? We can tie the knot right now. There's Lou Gehrig. That is out of 25. A nice 22 of 25 cards and comics. Thank you very much. And Pay Dirt Sports Cards Well. Cards and Comics has 24 subscribers. Help his channel grow. Let's try to get him doubling up where he started in at. Started at 16. Would love to have you uh, up around 32 when it's all said and done. Double your subscribers. So help him out, guys. Got 500 folks in here. Make sure you check his channel out. We're talking about Cards and Comics. Heather just dropped the link right there. There's Michael Kopech. Rookie card, which is a nice one. Uh, Zach Granke and Marcus... Hell, Jody Davis is the hit. Former catcher, 1983 style design for you Cubs fans out there. Jody Davis, uh, the first hit for Patrick. Now, or Phillip, sorry. Hopefully, there's going to be a nice, more valuable in here auto coming in the second stack. We'll see. Good old Jody Davis, kind of in the same ilk as Pat Tabler. They almost look similar, Jody Davis and Pat Tabler. We had somebody in here trying to uh, get everyone to jump on the Pat Tabler PSA 10 wagon. <laughs> and then he said it's because he has a bunch of Pat Tabler cards that he's trying to offload. Wants to pump up the market on those ones. Best card tonight, says Tanner. Sorry to be that guy. Well, if you just got here, it's a fair question. You just missed out a... Uh, on a Cal Ripken Jr. case hit auto, which, um, I don't know, it's out of 50, probably worth several hundred dollars, and also a Juan Soto out of 50 auto, also probably worth at least a couple hundred bucks. Both out of this case, and Jim says, I went to the same school as Jody Davis. That's pretty awesome. I don't know of anyone famous that I went to school with. I did go to school with someone that made the NFL, but they only played like a year, or so they're kind of like a, an unknown. Hoyt Wilhelm? What? Uh, <laughs> Heather, do you want me to show that to everybody? Heather was uh, questioning the Hoyt Wilhelm um, facial expression there. Interesting facial expression by Hoyt. Great pitcher in his time for sure, though. There's Hunter Dozier. Aloy Jimenez rookie card and a George Brett Topps Gold. That's a cool one. That's the first time seeing a Topps Gold uh, card in there. That's pretty nice, actually. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's the George Brett regular card. So I wonder if that gold is like an insert or something like that. That's pretty nice. Love 93 Topps cards. Got a Mike Piazza right there. Where's the second auto? It should be coming up shortly for Phillip. Hopefully it tops the Jody Davis. Uh, what a nice to have a Frankie Lindor auto. The SP, the bread is an SP, says Pete. That is nice. We got that in the sleeve pile for sure. Uh, what else? There is uh, Mariano Rivera and Jermaine Die. It is a silver, which is numbered out of 99. So good old Jermaine Die is the second hit. Jody Davis and Jermaine Die. Not the most valuable autos in the world, that's for sure. But some nice rookie cards and the short print of George Brett in this box. There's the Ichiro and J.P. Crawford. So, Philip, thank you very much. Two boxes left, and then that is going to be it for tonight. This next box, Philip gets both of these. So, Heather, you can probably just divide those up between that stack. It's going to be for Ray and victor 17 and 18 let's see what we can find for you two ray gets the left side of the box and victor gets the right side looks like these packs are evenly distributed we'll still count them out make sure there's 12 and 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we're good to go Put these over here for Victor. Just send all of your stuff out today, Victor. Nice uh, flat rate box will be coming your way. All right, so Ray, here we go. Let's start ripping your packs up and get your name all squared up there on the screen. Yeah, Charles Johnson. They put his autos in here too. Former Marlins catcher, Charles Johnson. Former Orioles catcher. He was a pretty good defensive catcher, I remember. He was kind of like Yvonne Rodriguez, light. For uh, the NL, who's kind of like the, no one was as good as Yvonne Rodriguez when it came to throwing out runners, but Charles Johnson was uh, pretty darn good at it. 
All right, so Ray, we're up with you right now. Spot number 17. Two more packs left to go, then we'll rip down through these and see who your autograph is. Yeah, Yadier Molina. I always say he's going to be a Hall of Famer, Daddy Daughter, and I always get blowback from that, being like, yeah, Yadier Molina's not a Hall of Famer. Get out of here. But uh, I think uh, when it's all said and done, I don't know if he's going to be first ballot, but he will be a Hall of Famer. Mark my words. His rookie cards have been skyrocketing from 2004 tops. Um, definitely pick up some Yadier Molinas before it's too late. We got a Vladdy Jr. There's Junior Baseball Fanatic. Says, nothing beats watching baseball and jabs on a Sunday night. 15 subscribers away from 350 subs. Wishing you all the best. Junior Baseball Fanatic 12. Thank you very much. I hope you will check his channel out and help him get to 350. And there's Jermaine Die again. So back-to-back -back Jermaine Dies. Maybe Tops is setting us up once again for a big hit. Uh, I don't know about getting two of the same autos out of the same case. Not a big fan of that. Especially if it's going to be somebody like Jermaine Dye. No offense to Dye. He was a solid player. Nice power bat there. But not a lot of value to his cards, unfortunately. You know, Tops knows that. This is Michael Kopech rookie card, which will get sleeved up. Oh, here we go. Victor Descanio says, Vic from Stellar Collectibles has requested you stop over at the Union Town Mall. Hey, uh, he's on my short list of places to go. I'm doing all these card store videos. The last card store video I did had like 40,000 views and... Um, has brought a lot of business to uh, Triple Play, and I would love to get a bunch of people in Vic's store as well because that dude is awesome. Um, and he really hooked me up last time I was there. has lots of great cards and gave me an awesome deal. Uh, Denny Martinez is the autograph, and you can barely see it. Dennis Martinez signing on the blue jersey. So... I guess he didn't take the uh, the notice from Tim Raines. We pulled a Tim Raines auto earlier, and he kind of squeezed the auto going vertically right there so you could actually see it. But that's the second auto. So G Jermaine Dye and Dennis Martinez. There's a nice mini of Brandon Lau for Ray. So, Ray, you hogged all the autos from the box. But hopefully there's going to be some good stuff for Victor on the second side. Maybe some good rookie cards. We shall see as we are getting down towards the little last stack of cards here. All right, so Ray is in the books. And here we go. Victor, you're up. Looking for some of those good rookie cards or maybe like a short print or a parallel of one of those top rookies. Pete Alonso, Aloy Jimenez, Tatis, or Vladdy. They're like the big four for me. They've still been the big four. I don't think anyone's knocked them out. Maybe Kopech will. Maybe Laureano will one day, but I don't know. Frank Wolf says, interested in packing sequences for the 80s. Are you talking about, like, how their the cards are collated into the packs? Like, you can always tell, like, when the rookies are coming up based off of the indicator cards in front of them. That does interest me, but... I don't know. I'm, it scares me, too. Like, I always avoid rack packs for that reason because I feel like there's people out there that well, might be somebody like you that can look at the top of the card or top of the rack pack or the bottom of the rack pack and know exactly what's in that stack. Yeah, very predictable in the 80s. It's had the same sequence of cards in all the packs. You're even seeing it here. Like, every time we see Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, what card comes directly after him every single time? It's Kevin Biggio, so... We're here we are 30 years later and we're having the same issues. But luckily with these cards, it's not like you can look through the, the, the packs and see exactly who's coming up. So here we go. Rowdy Telez. Starlin Castro. There's Jacob deGrom. There's the Vladdy. Hey, the Kevin Biggio is not after him, I guess. I, I was seeing a couple of Kevin Biggio's right after him. There he is. Got pushed back a couple cards. Manny Margot, there's Nick Senzel. So getting some of the good rookies, Ken Singleton. Got three of the top rookie cards already, Senzel, Biggio, and Guerrero. I don't know where I'd put Guerrero in, in this list. I probably would put maybe number three on the list right now. I kind of feel like Tatis Jr. deserves to be number one. I feel like Pete Alonso deserves to be number two with his 53 home runs last year. And uh, I feel like Guerrero's kind of settled into number three in this class. When this set first came out, Guerrero was number one. Everybody was all about him. 
He still has a ton of talent. There's Juan Soto. Found that card autographed earlier. There's the Ichiro. It's numbered, by the way, out of 99. 66 of 99. David Dahl. Gregory Polanco. There's Freddie Freeman. This is also going to be numbered out of 175. 54 of 175. There's the Tatis Jr. So, despite not having any autos, it's had a bunch of good rookies. Carter Keeboom rookie card is another decent one. There's Yusei Kikuchi, who I don't even sleep up anymore because he's been such a disappointment. Another Kikuchi. And Brandon Nimmo is the last one. So we're down to our very last box of the night. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Sunday night break. It looks like our next live stream will be Wednesday when we're breaking 2020 Museum Collection. That's the day it comes out. Hopefully my cases arrive on time. And then Thursday we'll be live again with 1960 Tops for our Throwback Thursday. That'll be a fun one. Good old 1960 Tops. I love that design. All those landscape cards. Tons of Hall of Famers in there. Let's go ahead and check out Pablo's side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So 12 and 12. They are all divvied up evenly. Pablo's up now. Anthony's got the last spot. And then we will say goodnight. Tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday, if you're looking forward to that, it's going to be the Walmart Mystery Boxes. Looking forward to doing those. Some people have asked me if those are any good, and I say I have no idea. They're probably terrible, but we'll open up. Uh, I think I have three of those that we will do. Here we go. Pablo, spot number 19. Two more autographs. So there's Robert H. with a $1.99 Super Chat. Robert, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And Costa Rica Car Break says Walmart finally stocking the shelves. I've been seeing it, too. Uh, actually, they've been putting Series 2 out here. Nothing else, just Series 2 and some Prism from time to time. However, I did have a really nice score at Walmart for the Walmart $100 video down in Virginia about a week ago. So I'm still waiting to do that video. Probably put that up um, probably on Tuesday. All right, Pablo, here we go. Spot number 19. Our next to last spot, two more autos. Costa Rica card said, wish you could find some cards down there. Yeah, I have to imagine it's probably next to impossible. Lester, yes, it is a donation to help the channel. All right, so let's see what we've got. There's Eddie Murray, Pujols, Yvonne Rodriguez, Aaron Judge, Rysel Iglesias. There's Juan Soto. Here comes the Tatis Jr. auto. Boom, there it is. That's a good one. Going in the sleeve pile for Pablo. How about a Joe Pepitone numbered card? Our second time pulling a Pepitone auto tonight. This one is going to be numbered out of 150. 93 of 150. That leaves one autograph left in the break. And uh, Chatham says that I missed a super chat. Is that true, Heather, from Robert H? No, I got Robert H. I think maybe you uh, may just be on delay there, Chatham, and did not hear me say it. Robert H, very... Uh, generous super chat. I really appreciate that. Robert, I sent your stuff out to you, or at least I packaged it up and got the label on there. It should be going out tomorrow. Mario Mendoza, which I think Brian asked for this. Mario Mendoza out of 199 for the Mendoza line. As you know, the Mendoza line was named after this um, poor hapless guy right here because he often would hit right around 200. He does have a nice auto. Check out those career stats. Look at the batting average. Pay close attention to that. Career 215 average, but more than half the time he hit under 200. 221, 180, 185, 198, another 198, and 118. Pretty darn good fielder, though, but could not really hack it at the plate in terms of batting average. So terrible. Um, I feel bad for him that he has that dubious distinction of the Mendoza line, which is kind of like a measure of futility at the plate. Three homers lifetime. At least... He will uh, never be forgotten. I'm sure that Mendoza line will go down in history and be used forever. 100 years from now, we'll still be talking about the Mendoza line, referring to the 200 batting average. If you're above the Mendoza line, you're hitting 200 or above. If you're below the Mendoza line, you're under 200. There we go. There's Jose Ramirez out of 99. Caden says, thanks for the great break, Eric, and thanks for letting me share my time about triple play. Yeah, great card store. We went back there again. We'll be doing another one. I uh, can't wait to show you guys what we picked up there. Tons of wax boxes. There's Mario Rivera, Justice Sheffield, and Robin Roberts. So that does it for Pablo's stack. He got both autos. Let's check out the final stack of the night. It's for 
Anthony, spot number 20, and that's going to do it. Here we go. Heather, I was pretty darn close. I told Heather we'd be probably finishing at 9.30, and it's 9.32 right now, so... I was, did, I say, did I say 9? I said 9, didn't I? I did say 9. Heather says that I said 9. Well, I was only off by 30 minutes. Heather always asks me, what time do you think we'll be done? And I'm usually way off. And I'm usually... I think I'm usually... I usually always go up over, over what I think. All right. All right, Anthony, here we go. Spot number 20. We did pull the Cal Ripken Jr. Auto case hit from this box and Juan Soto. All the autographs have been exhausted unless there's going to be a bonus auto in here, which would be a big surprise. Uh, CB pack openings. If you found 11 17 Series 1 packs from 2017, you should buy all of them for sure. Uh, Richard, I don't know. I've not been back to PNC Park since May of last year, so I have no idea. I think Nick still goes and stands outside of the stadium and waits for home run balls, but uh, I don't do that anymore. There's Danny Jansen, Ernie Banks, Ozzy Albies, looking for our good rookie cards. So far, I don't have anything in the sleeve pile. Let's get started there. There we go. Pete Alonso is going to start off the sleeve pile for Anthony, 1993 Topps Design. Joey Gallo, John Duplantier, Ronald Acuna Jr., 94 Future Star Design is a nice one. Michael Kopech, CB says, oh, I bought all of them. Don't worry. I, well, I don't blame you. 2017 tops. It's like, uh, what's that cost for a blaster of that now? Probably like 40 bucks for a blaster of that. Series 1 with the Aaron Judge Bregman in there. Juan Soto, Hunter Renfro. Here we go. Last little stack of cards, and that's going to do it for tonight. Anthony Rizzo, thank you very much for being here, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this break. Again, we'll be live on Wednesday with Museum Collection and also Thursday with 1960 Tops for our Throwback Thursday. Tomorrow we'll have Mystery Box Monday. When, or Tuesday, we will, there's a Kopech. Tuesday we'll have the Walmart $100 July video. And uh, Friday we'll have Face Off Friday. So lots of stuff for you. So please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please like the video if you haven't already. I see 328 of you uh, have already hit that button. I really appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe button. Thanks, everybody, for being in here. Uh, Lapomi says, did not disappoint for my first live show. I hope I still pronounced that right. Thanks for being here. And uh, I will see all of you tomorrow for a mystery box Monday, opening those blue mystery boxes that you may have seen at your local Walmart. Are they good? Are they terrible? I'm guessing they're terrible, but you never know, so we're going to open them up and see. So have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you all tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday. Good night, everybody.